yeah. All right. You can, you can hear me, Jeff. I can hear you loud and clear, Ronnie. Yep. Just if you need to, just bring that as we. Yep. And uh, yeah, try and try talking a bit now. How's that sound? Yeah, that's good. Better. Great. Yep. That sounds. That sounds. That sounds very good. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> And while we're doing audio checks, everyone, welcome along to the live stream of the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam Grand Final of the Women's Competition here from the Rain, from the Rain Basketball Stadium. Great to have you with us by the Chargers TV YouTube channel. And it is um, Sw it's, um, Sw uh, Swisher taking on the Sweaty Betty's Ron Riggs in commentary review. And, well, we have no JB. JB is off uh, away. We had none of that then have Jefferson St. John, but we just know him as Jeff anyway. Jeff, welcome to you and welcome to our broadcast here tonight. Ronnie, thanks so much, mate. Really good to be with you. You're a, you're a legend in this game, so I'm going to do my best to keep up. But look, really excited to see both the women's and the men's games tonight. Um, I think we're going to see some exciting young southern tasmanian talent here so yeah couldn't be more happy to be here ronnie absolutely and of course in the semi-finals it was swisher getting through nice and comfortably uh in their game and the sweaty Betty's in a tight tussle against real fair probably the game of the week by far that went right down to the wire on monday night and the sweaty Betty's prevailing uh, by the barest of margins as well too and what was a an absolute thriller of a ball game so yeah, look, yeah, go, I've, Jeff. I've heard the hype around town. I'm really excited to see uh, both Steindl and Collins go nuts in this game. That's probably the matchup that I'll be, I'll be looking at. I'm not sure if they're going to be directly opposing each other, but I, I'm sure they'll both be going off. As the commish is in the building as well, the too. Man. We always give the commish, the commish a shout-out as delicious. well, so he's, in, he's here. Josh Silver. Okay, okay mate, we'll he's, uh, the commish is just uh, making the rounds, of course, and... Um, of course, we have awards to give out tonight as well, too, Jeff. Um, should bring that. I should bring that up. There was a list that he, that, uh, that that Yuli um, sent through. I'm Let's just going to go. Oh yes, here we go. So the awards were the goat, which is the best player. Makes sense. Uh, the bucket, which is most points. Okay. The thief. I, I like these I like nicknames. That. I like that a lot. <laughs> the steals. Um, the sniper, which is uh, threes. Uh, but glass sense. cleaner, which is rebounds. The swatter, which is blocks. Um, but Dimer, which is assist, and the future, which is the Rising Star Award. Rising so, Star. So there are some nice, there are some nice names there. Yeah, I I'll must be, say, I'll be keeping my eyes open on, on all of those awards. I'm excited to see some of the younger talent that I potentially haven't had a chance to really see in action much. So yeah, looking looking forward to that. Absolutely, and of course, a massive thank you to Swisher who have jumped on board as as our broadcast sponsor for tonight. A massive thank you to David Barlett, Mark Nash, and Anthony Stewart, and the team there at Swisher. Of course, there's a wide range of memberships you can uh, buy at, at Swisher, or you can be a casual walk-in, or you can walk up during the day during their uh, business hours and try and see if you can find a shot. What an amazing facility, Ronnie. We yes, were, we would have loved to have had that when we were teenagers. Absolutely. Wouldn't we? Absolutely. I mean, I, you know, lucky enough for me, you know, growing up in, in a country town, I always had access to the local stadium. You know, we, we knew the president well enough, so can we get the key? No worries, and we'd go down and have a bit of a shot. So, uh, yeah, for a, in a country town, no problem, but in a bigger um, city like Hobart, obviously, mm. yeah, that's something that everyone would have yeah. craved for about yeah. 20 years ago. Amazing facility. Shout out to Swisher. Yes. Shout out to Swisher as well, too. There we go. We're just making sure the live stream is live. We, we are we trying looking? to go full HD tonight, folks. So wow. I've changed the settings around on the editing software, so a moment it, it, um, it, hold, it holds up. So both teams just about to uh, come out and get ready to go here for game number one. Of course, our second grand final at 8 o'clock. It will be against uh, uh, Utah and Swisher, and that will be a cracker of a game. Very so exciting. we're looking forward to that. But, of course, our, our attention turns here right now between the Sweaty Betties and Swisher. So Swisher coached by Adrian Gusti. But I'll pull you down there, just uh, working the whiteboard. And, of course, sweet, the Sweaty Betties, no other than uh, Daniel Sable. So referees for this evening's game, Jordan Peel and Jordan Cooper. So good double crew. A good crew. Yeah, the, the, the Let's double, go. A good crew on <laughs> tonight. 
And uh, not a bad little crowd coming in as well too, Jeff. And there's a little bit of a, uh, a function going or uh, an event going on upstairs here as well too. In yeah, I believe there are movies for the kids even for yep. a two dollar donation or a gold coin donation. Warren's been a, a bit of a fixture for Hobart basketball for Absolutely. a long time in the 80s. It had a, a massive heyday, and I believe a lot of games were televised at that point. It's where I sort of grew up, grew up playing, and um, it's really good to be here and see the community gather around to, to support both our, our women and our men. Uh, no, absolutely fantastic to uh, to hear, and of course, yes, no, I haven't, I've got a bit of footage from those days in the archive drive, mm. and uh, yes. You're somewhat of a local basketball historian, yes, right, that's, Ronnie? Yes, that's the other part of all the basketball stuff I do. Indeed. We, we uh, make sure we regain any historic footage we've got of anything Tasmanian-wise. And that's certainly and a some of the... A pardon yes, me, a yep. formidable jersey collection as well, I believe. Yes, that's her, that's her. I'm wearing one right at the moment, which is the current JJ's away strip. Classic. All right, we're about to tip off here yep. at Lorraine Stadium. Let's Absolutely. go. Absolutely. Here we go. Signed her with the tap. She wins that. Yep. And then... Perfect. Good work there by Rose Michael to get the two underway there. And that's what you want straight away, Jeff. You really get that first possession and away you go. It looks like it was drawn up, Ronnie. I don't know if it was, but it looked very, very clean. <laughs> Absolutely. Collins, Collins with the response there. Doing what she does. A little turnaround jump shot. Yep. Tied a two piece here currently as Rose Michael comes down the floor. Ooh. Ball there trying to maybe got away with reach. Steindl, who's had a very good comp competition throughout. And Ooh, that, well, that that's very that, easy. That's deaf taxes right there, as we like to say, uh, Jeff. <laughs> it looked very similar to the move we saw from Elliot. This end, the, the battle has begun, I would say. Uh, yes, we'll be on for young and old here tonight. Neat ball good. from downtown. Whack. And a quick, fast paced start already. Both teams. Really just throwing them up, and they're, they're going down nicely here. Oh, excellent control, penetration, and dish there from Rose. This is Jazz Ashland, who couldn't get that three also to kept, go. Kept the ball alive. Well done. Yeah, Broomhall with that offensive rebound there. So good work by her as Michael tries her luck. Can't get that to go. Broomhall with another O board. And now Ashland from the other corner. Not there. So they Collins, got away with yep. one there. They had, uh, you know, three, three, three opportunities at the basket. They really got lucky. Just couldn't capitalise there, Jeff. His ball fires that one up. Couldn't get that to go. Now ball quickly up the floor here with Steindl. Of course, of course, Kayla's husband Clint over in Perth tonight as the Jack Jumpers take on the Wildcats later this evening. And it's Ashland there with a two off the nice pass. Very convincing. Very convincing. Nearest of misses there. Goes straight to the basket. Unlucky on this Abs occasion. Absolutely. So Good Harris. Down by Harris. Yep. She's quickly up the floor here looking at her options. Ashland for the mid-range too. Yes. Good vision there from Harris to find her teammate in the corner. So quick, fast-paced start. We're only in about just over two minutes. 8-5 already here. And the ball with Collins, she fires for a three, not on that occasion. And then Aaron and Ashland there fighting for a good fight. Jump ball. It'll go to uh, the Sweaty Betty's here on the baseline. It's going to be interesting to see if this pace keeps up, Ronnie. It's, it's quite mm. fast at the moment. I imagine there's a, a few nerves out there and we'll see some settling down in the next five or so minutes. Although Ellie is looking very confident and comfortable. Absolutely. And Josh just gave me a good stat as well too. Ellie's about 50% from the, from the three-point line as well too. So she's been Incredible. shooting the ball at a really good clip. And uh, we have no doubt we'll see a few more threes for, uh, from her here later on in the game. 26 from 52 is what I've been told. So that, that's some good numbers that's, right there. That's great shooting. Steindl now. Needs help. Ashland from the mid-range once again. It looks like they're really going to try and run a lot of offense through Steindl at that, uh, at that elbow there and see if she can turn mm. her face and what, what they can get out of it. Definitely. Steindl with another board there. Yep. Outletting. Yep. And Broomhall now off and running. Good, good vision. Great pass. Yes. Yeah, good pass into Ashland. Ashland get a little stuck. Harris now putting it to the floor. Finds an opening. Couldn't get that two to go. Unlucky not to go there. Harris is looking pretty composed there, Lee. I'm excited to see what she can offer later in the game. Absolutely. So, Erin now, she puts it to the floor, spins her way through, goes up strong and draws the foul. And that will be assessed on Rose Michael. And Coco Erin will go to line for two. Crafty. Very crafty. 
see. Now I just want to. There we go. Yep. And we're just making sure the live stream is still going, folks. So it'll just always good to check these things. As Aaron misses the first. And Aaron gets the second to go. So good work there by Coco Aaron. We're tied at eight apiece. Here from the Rain Basketball Stadium. Grand Finals in the Tassie Ooh, Summer Slam as Broomhall just hole. gets a good drive to the bucket there, Jeff. And as, as you were saying? Well, look, I just I was impressed with that, that contact there. She sort of absorbed it and went to the basket strong and was rewarded with the two points. Absolutely. Broomhall having a breakout year this year. Certainly that's been pivotal Ooh. from a Hobart Chargers standpoint as Mills does a great job getting inside, draws another foul on Rose Michael here. Ellie would have been uh, within her rights to shoot that, but she saw that there was going to be a very big size mismatch and made the pass. Clever play, clever play. So Mills at the line here for two. Awesome. Great to see Lauren back after a bit of a short stint away. She played this year with the Chargers in the NBL 1 South competition and played locally as well as she goes 2-2 two two there. Both are good. So 10 apiece here, not... 10 dash. <laughs> we'll make sure we... The wonderful thing about live sports, we're trying to update a live scoreboard at the same time. Broomhall putting it to the floor here. Goes up with that floater. Nice, nice use. Nice use of a friendly roll there, Jeff. Really composed. I like the two-foot sort of jump stop before she moved into the shot. Really smart, really smart. And it got caught as ball, ball. Fires one for three. Couldn't get to go. These days, they're really starting to teach a lot of junior players play off two feet. And I'm sure that's something that you would have been taught as you were coming through the ranks as that shot missed there from Steinle. Yeah, that's right. I mean, footwork's really underrated. And, you know, the fundamentals are where you build your, your foundation and then you can go from there. But those, you've got to get those right first. Absolutely. Michael now on the turnover. Three-on-one situation. Yeah, Broomhall again. Just couldn't get that to go. And then good work by Ashland on the O-boards to get the two there. Capitalised, but they uh, they did well to get back on that situation. 14-10 our scoreline here. Swisher lead it by four. Halfway through this first quarter. Looks like they're running a sort of horns action here. Finding the yep. open shooter. McCaffrey gets her own rebound and gets her own two there. Very good, very good. So Ashland now. Steindl. Steindl thought about it. It's a bit of a stagnant offence here by Team Swisher. You can hear Adrian Gusty in the background barking out some instructions. As Steindl, <laughs> as <laughs> easy you say, as you like. As you say, Ronnie, death and taxes. And, yep, death and that taxes. Jump shot. That's going down. That, absolutely. She's just dynamo from uh, down low there. As Aaron, Another aggressive drive. Yep, Again, cut, three yep. goes up. Not this time. No, Rose not, the, not there. So ball quickly oh, up the a floor. Great pass. Yeah, good pass by Rose Michael yes. into Kayla Steinle there for a two. Does not miss. Six, out to six now. We were tied at one stage here, but all of a sudden Swisher just got out to six-point lead now. Yes, yeah, McCaffrey fires one. I think uh, Ferguson had a piece of that. Collins yeah. definitely got a piece of that. It, it looks to me that the, the, if the tempo stays this way, it's certainly going to it's certainly going to suit the Swisher team. Aaron firing one from long range. Couldn't get it to go. McCaffrey with an O board. Collins firing from deep. And not this time. Not on this occasion. We'll make it 26 of 53 in total now. As Mills just, Ooh, short, just back on on that one. Now ball quickly up the floor here. Ashland working away strong inside, but couldn't get that finish. Strong board there from Mills. A way to secure it and then get it to the guard. So Coco Aaron here, this quarter just flying by now as we're just ticked on about seven minutes into the first quarter. About three remaining. Now Collins looking for Mills down low. Kick out pass. Aaron open for three this time. Just couldn't get that roll to go. They're doing a good job of finding the open shooter. They've just been unlucky. I haven't seen a few go down. and I, I imagine that'll change as, as people get warmed mm, up. Definitely. Here we go again. Looks yep. like we're going to get a turnaround. No, we're no. going for the bank this time, bank. and it's good. <laughs> just too good, too good there. And time, is that a timeout from Daniel Sabo? I believe it is. We'll just get the, and we'll try and get that score line up. Eight point lead here currently for Team Swisher. They lead it twenty to twelve, and obviously, I think the focus in the timeout 
in the uh, Sweaty Betty's huddle might be Jeff that uh, uh, contain Steinl and try and limit her touches. I think contain Steinl, but you know, in, in some ways, Steinl's going to get her, her points. Yeah. What I'd like to see uh, Sweaty, Sweaty Betty's do is limit transition. You know, they need, yes. to, they need to pick up that transition D. They need to slow this game down and make it a bit of a fight. If they're going to run like this, it's going to be in the advantage of Swisher. Uh, absolutely. Uh, some great analysis from, from Jeff. Of course, JB not with us tonight. And JB is uh, currently away at the moment seeing family. So we hope he's tuning in. He might tune in for out tonight. Um, but again, a massive thing. Um, I'll, just, I'll pay the bills first before we come back to your comment. <laughs> Jeff there, a massive thank you to our broadcast sponsor for tonight, Swisher, who have jumped on board with us here for the Grand Finals. And, of course, you can uh, you can utilise the shot labs at either Lorraine, Kingbra, or in the city, uh, which is in Melville Street there, the old K&D building. And, of course, you can select a wide range of memberships as well too to uh, get on board and get a limited, get, sorry, get a full access of hoops. So if you're that crazy, jump on www.swisher.com and you can find all the details there. Jeff? If you want to make your shots, you've got to practice them. That so get down to Swisher and shoot. Absolutely. And we see a lot of kids in that building and it's uh, fantastic to see. Meanwhile, Collins throws up a nice kind of runner there and that's a good way to execute off the timeout. Excellent work there by Ellie. I'd like to see her take over a little bit here and control the tempo. Yes, I'm with you there, Jeff. That is for sure. Michael now looking for Broomhall down low. Kicks it out to Swain, who puts up the shot. Couldn't get it to go. Collins gets the rebound here, and we're coming back up to the other end. Ellie's, Ellie's got, Ellie Collins has got excellent timing, and also she just knows where to be on the court at the right time as we see her drain yep. the three. Absolutely, a vital bucket there. So the game just swinging here. Quick five-sip run by the Sweaty Bettys. We're back within three points here currently as we wind our way under two minutes in the first quarter. Broomhall spins, kick out. Steindl from deep. Wow. Yes. Rose is doing a very good job of finding the right player at the right time, running the point there for Absolutely. Nadimi. Swisher. Couldn't get that to go. Steiner with another board. Yeah. I don't know if that'll count, but it oh, I think something. I think the boys might count it. I'm sure, mm. sure we'll get a look at quarter time when the boys bring the stats over. Swain for three once again. Couldn't get that to go. Last touch by Collins. We'll see it come back to Team Swisher. Before I interrupted you, Ronnie, I was, yep. as you were trying to, as you say, pay the bills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, we got to do, and I've got the commish right next to me, so I oh, need to I make know. sure I do the right thing and plug we've sponsors. We've got to be on our best behaviour. <laughs> yes. I just wanted to shout out JB. Yep. Really nice to be... Uh, in his position for the for the night and big shoes to fill, JB. If you're listening, I hope I um I hope you do I do you proud. Oh, very good of you, Chef. As Collins Ellie knocks down a number two, is getting hot. Yeah, she's she's firing on all cylinders. That is for sure. Michael with a tough runner couldn't get that to go. A rebound here by Collins as we come up the other end. It does look to me like a. Oh, that's uh, not a bad idea there from Collins trying to go into Kendra Byers there on the back door play. It does look to me like Coach Justy is deliberately pushing the tempo and encouraging his players to go to the basket. Yes, I would, I would safely say that could well be the case there, Jeff. One of uh, Hobart's old and uh, sophisticated basketball minds, one might say. Yes, I... I'm not disputing that for a second. <laughs> oh, very and good use of the body. Yeah, good work nice by touch. Broom Hall. And, yes, good touch around the rim there, uh, Jeff. And she finishes that one nicely. So margin back to six here after a quick little run. And now Switch able to contain that. As Collins couldn't get that to go. Broom Hall off and running. She's got Ferguson or Steinle in support. Goes solo. And it wasn't a bad option because she drew a fair out of the play. I love that. I love it when she got to the foul line there and she cradled the ball. I don't know if you saw that, Ronnie, but mm. she sort of cradled that in one hand, yeah. used the opposite hand to sort of defect it or pretend to protect the ball, got to the basket, yeah. got the two shots. Yeah. Now, very crafty from, from Chloe Broomhall. And again, that exposure at the NBL 1 South level this year mm. is, is, has paid off dividends, of course, playing against bigger, tougher bodies. And mm. uh, she's uh, a, a tough nut, pretty tough nut herself. Yeah, that's a good point, Ronnie. Mm. It looks like she's composed out there. It looks like she's going slow. Absolutely. Certainly one to watch next year in the Chargers squad going forward. Of course, we tip off in April as well to the NBL 1 South competition. Me and JB will be back for that on Chargers TV as 
Shot couldn't go there. Oh, Good work by Nadimi. Now Collins throwing one up. Drive the try off there on the buzzer. But she gets it to go down regardless. Now are they calling it a three or are they calling it a two? It could be a three. I'm not As sure what happened on that play, Ronnie. To be honest, it, it did look like a lot of contact. I was expecting a whistle. Um, looks like Coach Justy might feel the same. Same. Like he's confused about something. I'm not sure what that is. So quarter time here. And it's a three-point ball game currently. 26 to 22. If you want to give that one to Jeff so you can read that off, I'll get that one Cheers off man. you. Now, so what we usually we, what we usually do here, so I've got the, the stats here for, for, mm. for Swisher and Carla Steindl leading the way with 11 points currently. Uh, mm. Seven rebounds. She's 5-9 from the field. The next best is Chloe Broomhall. Uh, and she's got five rebounds as well too off three and four shooting. And then Jazz Ashland with, with a handy six there as, as, as well. Mm. So there you go, Jeff. That's yeah. how we kind of roll with, with these ones. We'll give that one back to you. Go for it. Interesting. Yeah, look, for Sweaty Betty's, it's a pretty familiar story, really. We've got Ellie Collins leading the way with 14. And then the next is, is ball with three. So look, in that huddle, I imagine they're talking about. Uh, I imagine they're talking about transition defense. Yep. But also they'll be looking to share that scoring round a little bit. Yeah. Now they're finding open players. They just haven't been able to knock things down yet, Ronnie. So. Yep. Um, uh, hopefully that will change for the Sweaty Betties. Hopefully so, as we're about to get underway here in the second quarter here as we come to you from the Rain Basketball Stadium in the Tassie Summer Slam Grand Finals. Massive thank you to Lib Eat as well too for mm. being sp sponsoring the competition as well too. Get along to one of their uh, cafes or outlets to grab yourself a coffee or some nice food, that's for sure. Stein will, will try and get us going for in the second quarter. Good pass from Swain. Stein will have an and one. Yeah, look, again, Ronnie, we saw it a little bit in the first quarter. Offensive rebounding is, is getting this team, the Swisher team, multiple looks at the basket. And any time you're going to get multiple looks at the basket, you're increasing your chances of scoring, obviously. So, yeah, another thing for maybe for the Sweaty Betties to, to think about boxing out a little bit more on those offensive boards. Absolutely. Stone will get the three-point play, and Swisher all of a sudden go up to 29. We'll get that correct on our scoreboard here. Collins. Now look at, go, goes herself, pulls up from that mid-range, couldn't get that to go. Harris able to bring in the scraps. Harris off and running in. Needs to slow this one down and get it into, well, she got it into Steiner, which was a good option. Good work there by Aaron to deflect that one out of bounds. Really clever pass there from Harris. Probably a, a touch too late, which put Steinel in a bit of a difficult position and she had to make the pass out. But look, they've got the ball, so they've got another shot at it. Absolutely. Broomhall. Oh. Steinle, good two-man action here as, oh, again. Oh. <laughs> Brimble using the ball, ball to fend off the defender. That's creative. That is very creative. A little bit of volleyball there. So I get a quick look here on the uh, on the phone and, oh, geez, yeah, she just oh. used that nicely. Foul on the play. That might be on Swain, I reckon. Yes, it will be. That's going to be on uh, Claudia there. So we'll restart here on the sideline. A minute in again. Massive thank you to uh, Swisher for jumping on board here and being our broadcast sponsor for tonight's grand finals as Collins misses that one. And Stone will come down the floor here now. So, ball kick out. Well, Stone has got it now. She goes back to Ferguson. Ferguson Stop. who can knock it down, but good defence by Great Ball defense. and Beisra. Ooh. But then well, def well picked off there by Broomhall. Steindl's giving off a little bit of uh, LeBron James energy, playing one through five by the seam, sometimes running the point, sometimes posting up. Very Absol interesting. Yes, especially in a, in a league where it's a lot of youngsters here, mm. Jeff. That is for sure. Oh, Harris yeah. knocks that one down. Quick little pull-up. That was nice by Harris. Yes, and we're hoping... Uh, so Harris has played a bit of ball uh, around... Around the country and mm. internationally as well too. Did a bit of research on her. Of course, her partner does play for the JJs. I get a little bit confused of which one it is at okay. times. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, haven't had the opportunity uh, to uh. see Harris play much. But um, very, very calm um, and efficient player yes. by the looks of things early. Absolutely. And Shana Thompson in the house as well too. She's 
It's an eye course, a development play with the Adelaide Lightning in the WNBL. Exciting. We've got some stars in the building uh, as well, hey? Yes. Jeez, we're bringing everyone Ooh, out for wow. these grand finals. Collins puts on a move for us and couldn't get it to go. One of uh, my very good friends has a saying for that. Yes. A $50 move and a 10-cent finish. Ah. Well, I, where JB's... Um, is, is a million dollar move, but a ah. five cent finish, ah. Jeff. I see, there's different versions. Yes, there are different versions to that, so. JB obviously has got is that bigger budget than budget item than I am. So. Apparently, apparently so. Yeah. Well, when he works when he works for a super, super, a super fund. It makes sense. It does make sense, makes absolutely. Sense Not that Paris we should. again, yes. excellent drive to the hole, and she finishes competently off the backboard. Yeah, no, it's a good good, good try by Harris. He's just really recognising that gap there, Jeff, and just took advantage of it. Mm. So, ball, ball now. She looks to work her way around the shoehorn. Goes to Collins. Fires one for three, and that rattles home. They needed that. They needed that. This was a, a pretty critical moment for Sweaty Betty's. I think they need to you know, stop the bleeding here a little bit. And that was a big bucket from Ellie Collins. Absolutely. Out to a 10-point lead currently for Swisher as the foul has been drawn on Coco Aaron here. And Harris will go to line for two. Harris knew she had the defender on her hip and basically that her hands were up and very cleverly sort of looped her arm underneath the opposing player's arm to draw that foul. That's a, 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 a veteran experienced move. Yes, absolutely. Harris here at the line for two. And, yeah, there's a decent, not a bad crowd in, actually, for, for this game here right now. We've got a few upstairs here in the bar, Jeff. We've got, a, we've got a, quite a few sitting down downstairs as well, too. So Yeah, it's good yeah. to see the place packed out. I, I really, uh, I, I actually do miss the uh, the uh, environment here and the, the, the atmosphere. It's it's a little bit um, mm. quiet sometimes at, in some of the other venues, but this one certainly oh, yes. feel it. I still remember referring grand finals here where it was oh. packed for our senior nights and whatnot. It, it was certainly a great, great atmosphere to, to I be amongst. That too, Ronnie. Yes. I that too. Oh, nice play. Collins in the air. Great. great work there. Great pass. Excellent finish. Really needed that. So nice, nice kind of two, again, a little bit of two man action. Happening there, and really great finish by Coco Aaron, who's um, who's had a good year as well too. Again, getting that exposure at the NBL One South level as well at the Chargers, and you know she's really coming uh, leaps and bounds. That is for sure. So Michael here with the ball. She's looking for Ashlyn. Ashlyn turned the corner. And they're going into Steinel. Steinel at the elbow here. Steinel. Dirk Nowitzki, fade away, yes. If I had a dollar for every time I've seen that tonight, Ronnie, I'd have $4. <laughs> I reckon you would. <laughs> Which is a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. She's just on fire at the moment, and that is for sure. As Michael gets the rebound off that uh, Aaron miss. I've had the opportunity to see Rose play for a few years in our, mm. in our local leagues down here, yes. Ronnie. I'm impressed tonight. She looks like she's been working on her dribbling as a bucket goes down. Yeah, and time out here. You can expand on your point now as we're out to an 11-point lead at the moment, 39-28. Yeah, there's, there's a confidence there and a, an assuredness that I, I haven't seen so so far, and I'm seeing it tonight in a big game situation. So that's really positive for, for Rose. Uh, absolutely. Um, so time out here. So we mentioned a 11 point lead currently to Team Swisher, uh, and again a massive thank you to our wonderful sponsors that are that are helping us out throughout this competition. Of course, Lib Eat, yeah, which are the major sponsors of the Tassie Summer Slam, and well, I say get out to the Lib Eat and uh, get yourself something healthy and a nice coffee and whatnot. So but I was down at Eastlands the other day, and I bumped, and I went into um, Lib Eat there, Jeff, okay. and got myself a nice coffee. So that was um, that was good. The staff were, were fantastic there as well. Great place. And, uh, great coffee. Yep. There's a range of sandwiches and wraps and, and soups and a bunch of the whole works. It's a, a great place to eat. Absolutely. And again, a massive thank you to uh, Swisher, who are our broadcast sponsor here tonight um, as, as well. Of course, uh, get on their website. You can check out their memberships. Um, you can check out a few other things there as well too. Uh, there's a range of uh, courts, shot labs you can access as well too. So again, a massive thank you to David and the team at Swisher. And we're just about to come out of time out here and away we go. So can the Sweaty Betty's once again execute an hour this time out and just bring this margin back into single digits? 
We'll see what see what they can do is Aaron puts it oh sorry Ooh, Collins puts it to the four good strip as well that's Haley Another Geared strip in return yep. now we have a three on one reverse situation yes the ball's going to go to Ellie Collins unfortunately yep. she misses the layup just couldn't get that one to go no. ball quickly Rose, up the floor pass. Harris Wait. Harris can't finish no she couldn't finish there and then Mills tried to heads up play <laughs> which backfired and now Aaron floater it's a nice looking floater. It was unlucky. Yeah, and good work by McCaffrey to follow that one up and get the two. Excellent. Excellent work. So back to nine we go. As Harris slows this one down and looking at well, they're playing a lot low here, Jeff, as Steiner mm. once again and then oh, Ashland just out of real estate there. Yep, yep. But the idea is there. Yeah, the idea is there. I, I mean, I, th I think what's been working for Steindl is getting that ball just a touch higher than she did there. She, she's been, generally speaking, getting the ball at the elbow, turning and facing, which you have to respect because she can shoot that, and then making a decision. That one you saw just a little bit down, sort of halfway between the block and the elbow, and unfortunately, as you said, Ronnie, that led to her teammate running out of space. So, yeah, just needs to start that a little bit higher, I would have thought. Yeah, absolutely. 4.48 remaining here before the major break. And as we as we mentioned, we're, we come to you from Moraine, of course, in our next game. It's uh, Utahs and Swisher, which will be uh, a good game to, to watch. So make sure you stay tuned on the live stream here by Chargers TV. And... Um, no, it's, it's been it's it's been uh, it's been a good competition, Jeff. I must say, from watching the girls to watching you guys play on Friday nights, and um, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, look, let's take a moment to talk about it. You yeah, know, T TSS. Here we are. This is pretty exciting mm. stuff for Southern Tasmanian basketball. There's an energy and a vitality about this league that yeah. is quite exciting. The youngsters are buying in. Yes, some of the veterans have bought in. Yes, it's, it feels like community. It feels like family. Very interesting to see what this turns into. Abs absolutely. And of course, speaking with the, with the commission a few weeks ago, there are some big plans going towards the future of this competition, and mm. Uh, mm. it is it is exciting. Uh, you know, he's just been, what is on offer is mouth-watering, so to speak. He's been drip-feeding the information, but I'm sure he's got the cards close to his chest. He does have the cards to close see. to his chest. He does, he does, drip, very, he does a drip feed a little bit. I'm just relaying what he's saying <laughs> through my headset, Josh. He, he's an intelligent <laughs> man. He's calculated, I'm sure. <laughs> Back to the action. Yes, absolutely. Ball driving baseline. Couldn't get that floater to go. Broomhall with another rebound. So... She'll have double-digit rebounds by half-time. That is for sure. Is Michael now. Steindl. Yeah, that's it. That, that elbow face-up. Looks like yep. it's going to work here for them again. The shot's and up. Then and then throws up one. And that one missed on that occasion. And then, oh, Harris sneaky there on Collins there, Jeff. Mm. As they force the jump ball. Another veteran move. Just sneaking around behind and, and forcing the play. Unfortunately, it didn't work out for her on this occasion. But clever, nonetheless. Ah, very clever indeed. And Sweaty Betty's get the ball back here as they come down the floor now. So, Aaron. Looking for Collins there. So, similar type of uh, play here. So, Aaron's going to take advantage of that. Absolutely. And, and off glass gets that two to go. For good reason. We're at a really interesting point in the game here, Ronnie. I think that 10, 8 to 10 point mark is an interesting psychological barrier. If it blows out beyond that, you can sort of lose track of the game. Absolutely. If you can keep it within 10, you feel like you're part of it. Rose with the missed shot there. Yes. Great yeah. pass. Good pass. McCaffrey into Aaron. Couldn't get that to go. Now Broomhall here coming up the floor here. Looks for Ashland on oh, the wing. Easy, Great easy finish. Oh, we well, spoke too soon. Second effort is good, though. Excellent. Yeah. If at first you don't succeed. Yep, try, try, try again. Yeah, yeah, but it was right. good running on the wing by Ashland, though, uh, Jeff, just to really make that basket happen wow. as Coco Aaron makes that three happen. Very nonchalant as well. Looks like it happens for her all the time. No, no hint of celebration in that three. No, certainly not. A mature young player Coco Aaron is and doesn't let too many things get to her. That is for sure. Oh, this is... Yep. What a wonderful take by Rose. That's what I'm talking about. I've seen mm. seen this player develop over the last couple of years, and I'm really pleased for her at the moment. She seems to be making good decisions. Yeah, no, definitely. No, good take there as oh, Aaron tough. now tries to respond in kind. Wow, we have, a, we have a battle here. Whatever you can do, I can do better, she says. And another timeout being called here. Mm. I believe that's Team Swisher there calling a timeout. And nine points are, nine points are margined here. 
Yes, we. It, I need to update. I need to update. It's Team a back and, yeah, it's a back and forth one here, Ronnie. Yes, it is. I think. Um, I think the sweaty Betties would be pleased that they've been able to keep it sort of locked in and contained. Swisher would be frustrated that they haven't been able to capitalise and blow out that lead a little bit, a little bit more. Sorry, folks. We went to 45, and then in venue, and then we went to. Now we've gone back to 43. So I've just changed that on the live update, and actually, there we go. Uh, we are right. 43 to 37. Six-point ball game currently at the moment. What do you reckon out of this out of this timeout, Ronnie? What do you think? What do you think's on the the agenda for both coaches? I think right now it's the, it's the defensive end. Mm. We're just giving up a little bit too much in those last few possessions where mm. teams, both both teams with their personnel, are just getting to the basket nice, e mm. nice and easy. So I think the defensive rotation probably be, might be a key message here mm. just to help out on the help D. But then offensively you'd be kind of be saying, well, keep attacking the rim. That's what we'd like you to do. Mm. Um, but, keep, but don't be stagnant on, on your offense. Sometimes I've, uh, they do kind of... Uh, stay stay stagnant mm. as 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 well. Uh, Wibs, sorry, Wibs Steindl, you know, on that elbow. Just wait yep. and see if something happens. So there needs to be a little bit more movement as well too. As the commissioner tells me, an end of season function will be announced soon, early January, and it will include the awards and what is ahead in the future of this competition. Amazing. The uh, com good night. For the sure. commission with breaking news live on your front doorstep. As Harris throws up from the elbow and gets the two to go. Oh, she likes that little two dribble pull up at the elbow and it works for her, so why not? Great shot there by Harris. Yeah, that's a good shot there as ball now with McCaffrey. Collins going to work, goes Assesses. up strong. And good good work there by Ellie. Just recognising again what, what the matchup the matchup she's got, Chef, and then able to go, right, oh well, I think I can back this one down and try and, you know, find my way to line here. Yeah, really I think Ellie should be looking to capitalise on those mismatches underneath the hoop. Really there's only one player out there with the sort of physique or size to really stop her, mm. and that's Steindl. And if she's not yes. on her, then she's got to capitalise. Abs absolutely. As a free throw goes down there, very Collins taking Sweetie Betty's to 38. There's Ashland now. Gets stuck and jump ball called. Go back to Team Swisher here. Ellie just digging her hands in there at the right time. Tying it up, forcing the jump ball. That gives them a chance to sort of recalibrate and set up on D. Steindl. Pulls up. And gets the use of a friendly roll there. As expected. Definitely as expected. Margin at nine here. So we're kind of at that buffer type margin as Collins now fights her way through. Up and under is no good. Just rimmed out. Yes. Ellie's, in a, Ellie's in a tough position. In some ways there's a lot of pressure on her to score. But she yes. also has to be careful not to fall in the trap of forcing it too much. She, she can shoot. She can get to the hoop. She get double teams. She can find some open people. Absolutely, Harris for three. Very yes, good shot by Harris. Swish, and they make it to the half century here, and they lead it by twelve currently, fifty thirty eight. Great pass by Mills. Yep, and Visor there with the finish. Kendra Visor certainly improved in this competition, Chef. I must say, mm. she's um, really, you know, I think playing at this level and playing against some tougher opposition mm. has certainly done wonders for her. And that's kind of, as Harris knocks down a two. <laughs> Harris is heating up, Ronnie. I yeah. thought the elbow was Steindl's house, but it's looking a lot like Harris's house now. Absolutely. This, this game is like, get your comments in quick. <laughs> because um, I was just trying to say, with some of these newbies coming in as well too, it's just helping their confidence within their game. And I've seen the confidence go in Kendra Beiser. Mm. Uh, McCaffrey couldn't get that to go. As Collins pulls up for a two. That couldn't go either. So, do you Coach, think Harris will call her a number here, Ronnie? Or she potentially. Well, Coach Goosey's called for one shot. Horns. He's called for a horn set. So let's see where this ends up as we wind our way down to the major break here. As Harris goes to work, pulls up once again, short on that one. Mills, Aaron, shot clock at a game clock at. Four. Aaron throws up a tough one, which was never likely, and that'll, that'll pretty much do it. 
Half time sees Team Swisher lead it by 12 here, 52 to 40. And the, um, the boys will come over with the, with the, um, the stats in a minute, Jeff. But what do, you, what do you got for us? I really like the, uh, what Erin was thinking there. She, she recognised the clock and she, she tried to put it on the basket and maybe get to the, the hoop and, and, and could draw some contact, maybe get a foul. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out for her. Look, interesting game. Thanks for the, uh, the scoreboard here. What have we got? We still see Ellie definitely dominating the scoring for the Sweaty Bettys, but we have some help now. Erin's come along and contributed nine with the next player, McCaffrey, contributing four. Yeah, I don't know, Ronnie. Like, mm. like I said, it's, it's, they're going to have to spread that scoring out a little bit. But like you alluded to earlier in the match, really this is going to be a, uh, a defensive issue. The team that is able to contain the other more effectively will be able to secure this win. If they go for a sort of shootout, it's too hard to tell. Absolutely. And then this we, we, we squish her right now. They're, they're shooting the ball quite, quite well. I mean, I only got to look at their field... Yeah, some of the shooting from the field from the field here from some of them. Carl Stone were 8 of 15 currently. Harris mm. 6 of 10. Broomhall 4 of 5. And then Chaz Ashland 4 of 9. And mm. you look at that, 17 points, 13 points, 10 points and 8 points respectively. A good spread of scorers there. Of course, Rose Michael chipping in with 4 points as well too there, Jeff. So mm. uh, there's some, some good numbers there. Stone has currently 11 rebounds. I just want to see what Broomhall's got at the moment. Eight rebounds currently at the moment. So they're hitting the glass hard, that is for sure. So, Yeah, definitely more balance in the scoring for Swisher. And, and their offensive rebounding, without looking at the numbers directly right now, yep. seems to be um, an advancement on, on what the Sweaty Bettys are able to do. Really interesting to see if, if uh, Swisher are happy to go back to the well, i.e. do what they are doing well and yes. continue to do that for the rest of the game. For the, I'll be looking for the Sweaty Bettys to make this a, a grind. I want to see some really tough D. I want them to control the tempo. I want them to, to limit those fast break opportunities. Um, so, yeah. Exciting matchup. It's we're poised for some uh, a, an interesting second half. I think, Ronnie. Absolutely, of course. The, uh, if you're tuning in by the Chargers TV YouTube channel here. It's the Tassie Summer Slam Grand Finals. Of course, our women's comp uh, women's competition has come to its finale as it's the Sweaty Betty's trailer by 12 here currently to Team Swisher. A massive thank you to Lib Eat. Of course, healthy eating and make sure you get to one of their outlets around the Greater Hobart area. To Pick something up healthy or a nice coffee or a smoothie or one or the other. And a massive thank you to um, Swisher for uh, jumping on board as our broadcast sponsor tonight as well too. Jump on jump on uh, Swisher's website uh, to uh, check out various membership options, www.swisher.com. And, of course, you can check out their main facility in town in Melville Street, which is the old K&D building as well. Right, we've got the ads done and dusted. Second half about to get underway here. And, uh, Jeff, what are we looking for in this second half? Yeah, like I was talking about, I, 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 it's interesting to see the t what the teams are doing well and yep. how they can limit each other. And I think for the Sweaty Bettys, it's going to be defence. We all know Ellie Collins will get her numbers. In some, to some extent, Harris and Steindl are going to get their numbers. As a team, can they limit the amount of fast break points that the Swisher team are able to... Uh, achieve and that's what I'll be looking for as a key matchup as well as offensive rebounding. Absolutely. Second half underway here. There's Aaron. Now Collins fires one good from start. deep and that's a good start for the sweaty Bettys. Just on celebrity watch Ronnie yep. we've got I've noticed Zach White has entered the building. Yes Zach White. See him down there at the far end of the court. The chairman of the boards is in the building alongside the current assistant coach at the moment of the Hobart Chargers Matt Bennell who coached the uh, real fit in the women's competition and went down in that uh, cracker of a semi-final on Monday night. I heard that was a good game. Sorry, I missed that it one. It was. It was certainly a good one. You can watch it back by the YouTube channel as well too, Jeff. Hey. <laughs> Just to give that a plug. But, yes, no, that was an exciting finish. And good to see Matt here in attendance, though, along with Zach and many other people here as well. So great to see his Steinle. Now Harris fires this one, and well, that missed. I reckon that was a bit of a heat check, Ronnie. Mm. Harris got hot before, and I think Steinle wanted to see if that would continue. 
Expect yeah. to see more shots from Harris, I think, in this quarter. Absolutely. Harris to get a little bit open there, just by looking at the, the, the delayed monitor as Ball knocks down a three. Harris has sort of dared her to shoot that. She's backed off a metre or so. I guess she's thinking maybe she's fast, or I don't know. The field, the field goal percentage isn't high enough. And anyway, made mm. her pay. Absolutely. There's Ball here with Ashland. Now Broom Hall is Shorty Hargrave. Walks in the background. The man is a rebounding machine. Absolutely he is. And then good work here by Ashland now. And foul on the plate. It's going to be on knee ball. Jeremy Hill also uh, behind us as well too, Jeff. Of course, he's talking with the commission currently at the moment. Mr. Hill, another famous yes. basketball, Tasmanian basketball family. Absolutely. Uh, substitutions come into the play here as Rose Michael coming in for Harris. So Steindl, as they pump the music in the background, so we've turned down our effects mic. We just don't want to get done for copyright. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> Steindl couldn't get that to go. Ronnie, you've got a lot of things to think about on these broadcasts, don't you, mate? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't realise someone was playing music, in, so we can't. We don't want to get done for copyright, but no. uh, we, if we talk enough, we should get away with it. Yeah, great pass there by Elian. Oh, 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 bounces around. Just couldn't get that go to in. go. Now, Aaron goes up strong, and then, whoa, just a, a rare mishandle there. A mm, little bit of miscommunication, I think, there by Steindl and Michael. Just weren't sure who, which one was going for it, and, yeah, they lost it out of bounds. Absol absolutely. As the music goes <laughs> goes down, I, I wor I've worked out who's controlling the music as Collins gets it too. Excellent. Yeah, yeah, look, I, bit, like, I yep. like it when, when any of Italy can get into the key and sort of back down and then take a step away or a turnaround jump shot. I feel like it's a pretty high, good chance of going in. Ashland couldn't get that three to go. Unlucky there. Now, uh, sorry, Ferguson there for the mid-range. Nice little mid-range jumper there for Ferguson. So, Aaron coming down the floor with it here. Oh, really, really clever change of speed there yes. by Aaron. And just back on on the three there, Jeff, but a good move nonetheless. And then, oh, pass, uh, just a bit too much heat on it there, Jeff. Yeah, look, she's, she's got her head up and she's looking at her options, which is good, but yeah, too much pepper on that one. Absolutely. So, ball coming down the floor here. Aaron now. Yeah, look at our options. Mills inside. Well, again, once again, a little bit ambitious there on that one, and all goes out of play. That was a well-executed play. Again, just a little too much heat on the pass. If that had fallen in, I think that was a, it was a very high chance of a bucket on that play. Definitely. Ferguson goes up strong. Couldn't get the go. Mills able to pull that rebound in. Still at that six-point margin, Ronnie. On mm. the Sweaty Bettys will be happy that it's, it's under 10. Yeah, just Swisher couldn't. must be disappointed that they're stagnating a bit. But and Steinle, though, comes up with that kind of bucket you need. It was as if she, she could hear what I was saying, Ronnie, and thought, you know, I'm not having that. That's right. Aaron for the response. You wow. betcha. Whack. Just like that. Really great shot there. Back to five points currently, our margin. Steinle for a response. Not there. Mike were able to pull that one in. Goes baseline. Good pass Clever to Broomhall. Pass. And Broomhall gets the two. Good positioning by Broomhall. Good awareness by Michael. So back out to seven points here is Collins now. Ooh. Trying to work her way inside here. Going to work. Nearly got triple team. Forced a turnover. Got yeah, a one-on-one -on -one situation here. Yep, yeah, Broomhall up with that floater once again. Gets her own rebound and gets the two. Yep. Just putting pressure on the rim. Sometimes that's all you need. Work Oops. it out later. Yep. Put it up there and work it out afterwards. It's a ballad, very valid point there. Chef, as Aaron now, good D by Ferguson. And Aaron, Steinle just went out of bounds there. Aaron's a really interesting young player. She's uh, somewhat undersized, fairly small out there. And so is maximising her change of speeds very well. Yes. Fa change of speed and change of direction. Very intelligent play by Aaron. Absolutely. Tom, our call with 526 remaining, a nine-point lead to Team Swisher here, 60 to 51 in the Tassie Summer Slam competition and of course grand finals here tonight at Lorraine. 
And right now, both teams in their huddles, Jeff, and a little bit of communication going on down there. Yeah, I'd love to be a fly on a wall in, in either of those huddles at the moment. I imagine that they're, they're trying to stay positive. I, I don't know the type of approach that Juicy takes with his coaching, but he is a bit no-nonsense, so he might, be a, he might be a touch disappointed with his team's inability to extend their lead. Um, I think, again, I might be at, at, at danger of repeating myself, but the Sweaty Betty should be happy to have been able to limit the damage at this point. Absolutely. Uh, we just... Okay. Just trying to make sure everything's still going on the stream as well too, so... Another famous Tasmanian basketballer, a favourite son. Yes. Mark Nash himself enters the building. Yes, current head coach of the UTAS team in the UBL competition. And, and of course, uh, had a bit to do with their coverage as well too uh, throughout the year as well too, Jeff. Great to cover some uh, UBL games mm. as well too and getting to see some different talent from across um, universities around the country as well too. That's but that was an exciting. That sounds part like to an call. amazing competition. I really, uh, really a lot of basketball being played in our state at the moment. Hey, Ronnie. Absolutely, no, we have changed to a 12-month sport. That is for sure. Very good to see. Yeah, no, it's been, okay. Rose brings it up. Yeah, Michael now working away through. Now Ferguson thought about it. She turns down the three, and Steindl spin shot good. Five and counting. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Good shot there by Steindl. Collins couldn't get that three to go. And now up the floor here. Ferguson slowing that one down to Ashland. Now ball getting moved around here. Good pass inside to Ferguson who should finish. Just couldn't get that two to go. So ball here with ball. Now Collins. You can see on defense mm. that the Swisher team is, is being quite physical. There's a lot of contact. Really, the Sweaty Bettys aren't getting any easy looks. I think they're going to have to try and match that. It's looking a little bit easy at the other end. Absolutely. So Michael now just try, assessing her options of what she got. And she found the gap. Good patience by Rose Michael. Again, just making some good decisions tonight. Now ball up the floor here with Aaron. Erin putting it to the floor. Oh, wow. She kind of, yeah, if you, what there's, you can do, I can do. There's some really interesting battles developing out there, Ronnie. <laughs> it certainly is. There's no love loss between any of these teams. As, oh, Stein will try to go to cheeky pass, but Collins able to read that one. Right place, right time. She's smart like that. Absolutely. Good pass from Erin into McCaffrey for the two. And we're out to... Sweetie Betty's just, just grinding away, just sticking, sticking in there, just staying connected. Ashland putting it to the floor here, kick out physicality to... physicality on defence there. Yes. Now Michael from deep just couldn't get that to go. And now ball with it here as we come back up the floor here or down to the squash court end of the, of the stadium. Ball here with Collins going to work. Up strong. And the two. That's what we were talking about, mm. Ronnie, earlier in the early in the piece. Ellie recognised that she had the mismatch and took advantage. Back to seven points on margin here, 64-57. Steiner wanted it down low, and there was a good reason why. She draws the foul, she'll go to the line for one. Clever, clever seal there by Steindl. Just established her position, knew that she was bigger than her opponent, and asked for it up top, got it, finished. So Steinl here to continue on as Michael comes in. And Ashlyn is going to come out. Stein will certainly right up there for MB if we're awarding MVPs for grand finals. She's certainly right up there in that in that status right she's now. In the mix, that's for sure. Temp back out to ten here, just on two forty remaining here Ooh, in the third. <laughs> it's a bullet pass. pass. Then ball not able to finish. finish. Now Broom Hall. Goes up strong, draws the foul, and that's going to be on Aaron as Chloe Broomhall returns to the line for two. Interesting to see Broomhall run that break. You know, the the uh, temptation for a young player is to just go all guns blazing, turn yes. the jets on and get to the basket. Mm. If you notice, she sort of slowed herself down there before making that change of speed. 
Absolutely. Broomhall can't get it to go. Of course, we, we try not to put the mockers on any players up here, Jeff, with, uh, with the commentator's curse. So. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm new to this, I guess. Yeah. I, I'm just calling it as I see it. But the, second, right. one, the second, second one goes in. The second one goes in. We, they usually do that for us, which is always nice. Back to nine here. Well, I've got nine. I'm hoping the scoreboard will update. As Collins fires this one from deep and gets it to go down from downtown. She can hurt you in a lot of different ways, Ellie. Very hard to guard. Very hard matchup for the coaches. Absolutely. Steinle now going to work. Step through. Foul and goes to the line for two. Now, there's a few fouls here and you probably want to keep your hands out and limit those. But yep. I like the intent. The Sweet yes. Betty's here are saying they're putting up a fight. They're saying no more easy baskets. Now they just need to play that with their chest and their feet, mm. take those hands out, and I think they'll be in a good place. Absolutely. Steinle knocks down to first. And Steinle should knock down the second. Ching -ching. So back to 10 our margin here. I must have put the score, one of the scores on the wrong, but we rectified that. Now we're right to go. Aaron, good pass. Ball mid-range. Just overcooked it. Now Harris off and running. Has Ferguson in support. Utilises her. Ferguson just getting a little bit stuck there. Has to go back to Harris Ooh, now. And then wow. Harris with a nice move. And the two. That is the definition of shake and bake, Ronnie. Yes. Wow. I haven't seen that in, in a little while. and Very um, entertaining move. It's a very nice move to pull off. That is for sure. Aaron. Now Collins. Just off on that one. We had a good look from upstairs here as that ball goes out of bounds. Substitutions. There's Mills and Swain come in respectably. Broomhall and Aaron are coming off for a breather respectively. They've had some success running uh, running their offense through Mills at that at that elbow spot as well. Similar to similar to Swisher and, and what they're doing with Steindl. Mm. It'll be interesting to see if they go to that a little bit, the sweaty Betty's. Harris now, working away through. Oh, wow. Step through. And the two. Harris oh, my. with the pro hop through the lane. That That's was, exciting. That was nice. We're seeing the bag tonight for Harris. Absolutely. Harris is just throwing herself into MVP contention of the game. Collins went down a little bit gingerly. Let's hope she's okay. Michael now just getting a little bit stuck. Gives it to Ferguson. Good D by Bysera there. A little bit scary there for the sweaty betties. Uh, mm. Ellie Collins went down on the defensive, end, on the offensive end. Pardon me, and looked like she might be a little sore getting up, but will stay on the court at the moment. Yes, a little bit ginger right now, but there's a smile. Looks like yeah. she's okay. Might be just a little bit of a, a contusion or a, yep. you know, a bruise. Could well be. Mm. Shot clock goes to 14. Steindl. Harris, who's put on a good game so far, back to <laughs> back to Steindl, who nearly gets that two to drop anyway. And good work by Ball on the rebound. Collins now moving pretty good there, Jeff, by yeah. what we're seeing. So it looks yep. like she's fine. Yeah, she looks good. And then Great good, pass. Good pass into Bysra. Couldn't get that to uh, uh, happen as far as the shot was concerned. Mills down low, who got double teamed, gets it to go miraculously. And Lauren Mills will go to the line for one. Clever. Again, you got the mismatch. Mills is a, is a strong player. Got the height advantage on almost everybody out there. Ellie notices that, finds her, and the result is two points and they're at the line. Absolutely. So Mills at the line for two. As the commission needs some attention here from the refer referees. We're looking for a towel, towel. I we, we need a towel. There's a wet spot on the floor. I don't know. Jordan, what's Peely got here? Peely's got a, a towel. Mm. So now they're trying to find the wet spot. Both. Apparently no wet spot on the floor. <laughs> Better safe than sorry, Ronnie. Yes, that is true, Jeff. Yes, absolutely. Let's see if Mills can convert the traditional or old-fashioned three-point play. Yes. Mills here goes. Yes. Good. He's good there, so... 11 points, and once again, Coach Asian Gusti with that one-shot call. Harris with a lot of swagger in her step now. She's, uh, she's feeling herself after some of those buckets, I think. 
Absolutely. Finds the open player. Yep. Ferguson to deliver. Yes. <laughs> Ferguson with a great shot. Harris has got the Midas touch at the moment. Everything Absolutely. she touches turns to gold. So it's reminding me of a few point guards who could just cr create that, you know, um, kind of defense that draws to you, mm. and then you can get that pass to the open player. Yeah, very intelligent. She's going to the ba basket, and she's she's aware of what her of her defensive player is doing. If she gets the, the space, she's going to take it to the hole. But she's also aware of where her teammates are, and she's going to find them. Absolutely. And this quick, this quickly, I'll just quickly go through the scorers here. Harris with 17 currently at the moment, chipping in nicely. 8 of 14 from the field. Broom Hall, 6 of 8 from the field and 15 points, and up to 11 rebounds as well too. But Kayla Stone will lead the way, 26 points, 16 rebounds. And 50% and from the field as well, too, at 11 of 22 at the moment. Throwing four assists there as well, too. Mm. And just quickly, Harris has just picked up a game there with two assists. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Look, Ellie Collins over on the Sweaty Betty's with 30. Uh, Aaron Ooh. with 14. Yep. And Ball with six. Uh, also contributing, you have McCaffrey with a, with a, also yep. a, with a solid six. Ellie's shooting a lot. And the percentage is pretty good. I think they have to keep going to that. It's far from 11 from three. Yeah. At yeah. this stage, I think that'll go higher. I think that'll go much higher. Oh, I think so as well, too. As the last quarter will get underway here. Uh, now, just, uh, and then just quickly, too, a massive thank you to, to Libby as one of our major sponsors of the Tassie Summer Slam. And a massive thank you to Swisher as well, too, for being broadcast sponsor here tonight on the live stream as we are coming to you by the Chargers TV YouTube channel from the Roraine Basketball Stadium here as Harris gets us underway here. Term number four, Steinle now. We are set for a hell of a final here, Ronnie. Absolutely. Swain fires one from deep and the unconventional shot goes down. Whack. And that is a good start if you are a team swisher right now. Up to 17 this margin. Collins looking to respond in kind. Yep. Yep can shoot. Definitely. Now, I know some players do fall into that lapse of, all right, if we're going to go go shoot out, we will, but mm. not on this occasion. Good heads-up play from Steinl to Ferguson. Really clever finish by Ferguson, just using her off shoulder to protect the ball. Aaron goes baseline into Ndibi, into Ooh. Mills, which had the right ideas. Mm. Idea was good. Execution was just a little lacking. So Sweaty Betty's will get it here. And then Aaron inside draws the foul. Ellie Collins identified the cut and just sort of laid the ball in the path of her teammate. And they got to the hoop and shoot two. Absolutely. So Coco Aaron at the line here once again for two free throws. Of course, part of... She was part of, the, as I mentioned about the charges, she mm. was also part of the Basketball Tasmania uh, State Development Program and has graduated from that as well. She received a gold class wow. honour as well too, which is um, the criteria around that, Chef, is around the um, making uh, consecutive state teams in consecutive years. And Coco was able to do that, so she got a nice... So really interesting. Some, solid they solid some nice young players. players. Yes, very, very good play to watch and certainly one to look out in the future, that is for sure. Swain now, cross-court over to Broomhall, which had a bit too much head on the pass. It's a little too much on that one, as you say, Ronnie. And yeah, just I'm just seeing that again on the... I've got the game up on the phone at the moment as a mm. delayed monitor and just a bit too much heat on the pass there. So Mills, looking for Collins inside, utilises that option. Collins will, should finish. Oh, just overcooked to the slide and then foul there on the play. I think that's positive for the Sweaty Betties. I'd like mm. to see a little bit more high-low between, between Mills and Collins. Yes. Collins to restart. And then try to, we'll try to get to Aaron, but that she was swarmed by a few there. That's and now, great help defense. Mm. And the ball was signed all. Broomhall couldn't get it back, so go back to Team Swisher. We talked about the uh, defensive rotations, Jeff, and obviously the players have responded to that mm. in good kind. 
Now Harris goes up strong and gets the roll. Harris is getting whatever she wants at the moment. Absolutely. It's just been a bit of one-way traffic for her on the offensive Ooh. end. Getting assists, playing D. Now Collins. Aaron now putting it to the floor, going up strong and gets the finish. Tough finish. A lot of contact on the way to the hoop, but had the core strength to make it to the basket and finish, finish strong. Absolutely, as the two can't go there. Ellie Collins taps it to herself, outfights her teammate for the rebound, gives it up to Mills. Yeah, and now Nadimi with it. Back to Collins. Oh, oh clever. clever pass into Mills and the two. I love that. I love that high-low action between Mills and Collins. I think we've got to see more of that if they want to get back in this game. Well, it's only 12 points to margin Ooh. here, Jeff. It's uh, still not a basketball to be played out as Broomall inside. Couldn't get the two to go. Aaron pulls the rebound, and now we're off and running here. It's like both teams have shifted a gear up or, or, or down, whichever way you, mm. you think about it. There's very fast-paced physical action at the Absolutely. moment. Absolutely. Steindl now just pulls up as you like and yeah. gets the two. Just, just looks off enough to distract the defender and then lets it fly. Very clever. Marge back to 14 here. And just on seven minutes remaining here in the last. Yeah. Oh, clever Good pass. by Ellie. Collins into Visor there for the two. Great and timeout. Timeout will be called here. Visor felt that little bit of contact on her back and just went to the other side of the rim and, and laid it up for the finish. So back to 12 by margin here. Switcher lead it 86 to 74 at the moment here as we come to you from Rain. Here by the Chargers TV YouTube channel. Massive thanks to everyone tuning in. Currently at the moment, the stream is uh, surviving and uh, still going, which is good to see. And... A good attendance here tonight as well, too. A massive thank you to Live Eat, of course, major sponsor of the Tassie Summer Slam and have done wonders um, for, for the players and whatnot. And, of course, the broadcast team as well, too. Make sure you get along to one of their, uh, one of their outlets, of course, and uh, pick up yourself a nice something nice and healthy to eat from Live Eat or um, a coffee or something like that or a smoothie, rather, as well. I don't know what everyone takes their fancy on, but and of course a massive thank you to Team Swisher as well too, as the as <laughs> Yuli nearly takes out after after gear around here. Massive thank you to Swisher, our broadcast sponsor. I need to get Dave Bartlett to give us some <laughs> give us a bigger extension cord. <laughs> and uh, we're just fixing this up currently at the moment here, Jeff. But both teams just about to come out. Uh, team Swisher just delaying their their huddle there a little bit. I'm not sure if that's um. Some mind games there is... Um, well, they know they're still in it, Ronnie, and yeah. it's a battle. And, you know, there are psychological elements yes. to this game. And, um, whatever you can do to get your edge yeah. within the rules of the game is... We is, might is, have to get a tap. It looks like we're going to a full-court press here, which is really interesting to see. This is a not a bad change-up by the Sweaty Bettys. Not wor it's worth trying. they got Mills at home guarding the bit basket. That was a pretty well-executed press in, in many Absolutely. ways. Absolutely. As Harris open for three is short on that one. Buys it with the rebound. Ball able to reel that one in. She's off and running. Ball now. Pfizer and Collins, they all combine. Collins pulls up. Couldn't get the two to go. Pfizer just outnumbered mm. and outsized there, unfortunately, but did well to get her hands on the ball. Absolutely. Ferguson with the two. Those fast break points, that's too easy. If Swisher continue to do that, they're going to take control of this game. Absolutely. And, of course, Swisher have not dropped a game at all in the women's competition mm. as well, too, Jeff. They are undefeated currently at the moment. Coco Aaron is doing her best to change that, Ronnie. Really aggressive take mm. to the basket and was fouled. Ball on the baseline here. There's Aaron now. Fires one for three. Bingo. That's a big bucket. Back to 11. Just, you can, oh, you can just feel, you sense there might be a run here somewhere. Mm, this is it. I think if uh, if the Sweaty Betties want to get back in this game, it has to be now. Steindl has other ideas. Broomhall with the O board. Ferguson for another three. Just off on that one. Steindl, oh, I think she, she was, Ball bouncing around. Yeah. Anybody's ball at this point. Absolutely. As, the open player. Yep, Broomhall now goes the two and very, gets to the go. Very confident, self-assured bucket there by Broomhall. This has been a high-scoring game as well, too. We're up to 90 now for Team Swisher. Look at that aggression. She is not done yet. No, Coco Aaron just 
going nicely here. 11 points our margin, 90-79. Still 90-79 off that miss from Broomhall. So Aaron, and that'll be a foot violation. Substitutions here is... Steindl might have done that on purpose, I think, just, just to get a bit of a breather. It's a bit been back and forth. It has been and back and forth. Swisher need to sort of adjust here. This is this is the run that I think the Sweaty Betties are going to make, so important for Swisher to consolidate here. Absolutely. Ball went back out of play here as uh, the men's teams are starting to get warm and, and getting ready for their game coming up very shortly. And for you on Chargers TV. Plenty more action in this one, though, Ronnie. Yes. 4.55 left, finds the open player in the corner. Yep, knee ball there. Unfortunately, dead. doesn't go down. No, she couldn't get bees. that three to go. It wasn't a bad look as well, too, Chef, as yeah. Ferguson now up the floor here. Now Steindl here at the elbow. Oh, Broomhall, nice catch. Harris now open. That will be a long two for Went. But... Broomhall with another rebound and a two. You have a possession where Steindl, Broomhall and Harris touch it and then Broomhall touches it again and they score. Yep. That's the only result possible. Absolutely is. Aaron Ooh. just can't get that three to go. He did everything but roll into the hoop. Michael. Oh, and nice. then, oh, just not ready in the pass, not ready for anyone there on that one. So 13. We're at here margin-wise, 408 to go. They had the overload there, and it looked like it was on, but mm. no one really went and claimed it. Collins inside strong, Tough. and the two. Could make an argument for an and one there. You could, definitely. She might have got some contact. Referees are letting them play, as Michael now couldn't get that to go either. Now, ball quickly up the floor here. Getting trapped at midway, oh, little, little that little is a, that, oh, and that will be backcourt. Back mm. And that, and that's something you don't want to do as a player, Jeff. Get trapped right on that halfway line because, yeah, if you move that tad, referees are right on it. Correctly identified, Ronnie. It's mm. basically like another player out there, isn't it? Yeah, it, ba it basically is. And Steinle now attacks baseline, wraparound pass into Ferguson, who's open for three. Yes. That one hurts at this stage in the game. Well, margin goes out to 14 now, and this is an uphill battle now you would expect, Jeff, from the Sweaty Betties. They yeah. would need to find a, a few stops and some shots to drop in order to get back in, and that, well... Ellie Collins around it. everybody, including her own teammate, just couldn't get it to go in ah, the end. And then on the transition, Ferguson gets the two. Tough finish, too. Some contact there. Timeout being called here by Daniel Sable. As margin goes out to 16 here, and if, if anything, this might be their last... Well, I'd, hard to say it's their last chance, but we'll have to give them a last chance mm. if, it's if early. they're going to try and win this ball game. It is early, but look, it's, uh, you know, it, it, particularly if Swisher come out and slow it down, which I fully expect them to do, try and draw those seconds off the clock. It's, it's going to be an uphill battle for Sweaty Betties, as you said. Abso absolutely. And, well... Both teams here in the huddles. There we no let up from head coach Adrian Gussi, I would assume, as he really drills a couple of points just by looking from up here. And then Dan Savile working the whiteboard down at the other end of the floor. So at this stage, yep, go know, for it, Jeff. At this stage, I think he's probably just saying to, <laughs> to Aaron, keep doing what you're doing. It's mm. working. If she continues to drive to the basket, there will be open players, and if she can find them, they, they'll have open shots. just depends whether or not they can knock them down. Absolutely. Now, the, oh, just, now the commission's just come forward here. He's, he's got the winning medals here as well too, Jeff. So they look very nice, I must say. It's all, it's all becoming very real, Ronnie. Yes, it is. Yes, I'm just wondering, are we having presentations down on court, Uri? I'll quickly touch on something. I'll keep it pretty short and sweet. Okay. Okay, all right. No worries. I'm not sure if anyone heard that, but <laughs> I'll, re I'll relay it for you a little bit later on while the presentations are going on. Collins now for three. Just couldn't get that Unlike to go. It. Not a bad play set up there as well, too, from the timeout. Meanwhile, Ferguson from Steindl, yes. Swisher looking very much in control now, Ronnie. This is going to be a really tough ask for the Sweaty Betties to come back from uh, here. Absolutely. And... Uh, as we mentioned, Team Swisher undefeated as Ball knocks that one down. 
Just on a late game celebrity watch, we have yep. the point guard professional Terry Masunda. One yes. One of Hobart's favourite sons in the a building. Absolutely. I call him Professor 2.0, to be quite honest <laughs> with you, Jeff. He's one, one of the most silkiest point guards we have had in our time. You better believe it. Good to see T in the building as well, too. Of course, a championship winner with the Hobart Chargers as well. Also well, recently yep. married. Yes, yes. No, congratulations to Terry and the partner there. Lovely, really? uh, lovely news. As Back Ferguson to the go, yep, Ferguson goes up, couldn't get it to go. Now, Michael from deep can no, and Broomhall. <laughs> He's Broomhall just cleaning it, cleaning it up, so to speak. And that pun intended. That brings up the ton there for Team Swisher. One hundred and one. So the ball here with Ball, who fires one for three. Couldn't get it to go. Now Broomhall quickly up the floor here. Ball looks like she can shoot. It's a shame she didn't get more, more options. Ferguson knocks down a three. And would that be a timeout or a substitution? Substitution. We are under two minutes, of course. And looks like we're clearing the benches on both sides, yep. Ronnie. Yep. And that tells me that the white flag has been raised. and. Indeed. We're just going to go through the motions here of this last 89 seconds of this ball game. Always a tough moment as a player to be called on in, in, in late in the game when the result is beyond your control. But you've got to get out there and you've got to, you know, demonstrate what you can do and keep playing team basketball. Absolutely. Green. Now Broomhall. Oh, very clever off look yep. by Not, Broomhall. Nice, nice move as Ashton goes up strong. Couldn't get it to go. Strong rebound. And now Pfizer here with it. She's off and running. Gives it off to Ball. Ball going to work. Up strong with that hook. And then able to get her own rebound off the tap from Mills. I'd like to see Pfizer try and take that to the hole, to be honest. That mm. might come later in later in her career, but would have liked to see her go to the hole there and put a bit of pressure on the rim. Yeah, absolutely. As Ball down low to Green. A Green who's had some good minutes throughout this tournament as well, too. Has had some really good. Clever help defence there. Yep, as Ball just couldn't get that shot to go. Now Broomhall quickly up to uh, uh, Geard. Geard up strong for the two. Nice work by Haley Geard. As we have another substitution. And Steiner will come off and Swain will come in. That's a good day's work for Steiner. She should be happy and proud of herself. Absolutely. So Let's see if the Sweaty Bettys can make one last play here as we round this out. And a massive congratulations to Team Swisher, who will go undefeated in the women's competition and pick up the championship. As Ball now works her way in. And then Mills for the tip. Yes. So final seconds here. Broomhall for the Hail Mary. Ooh. Not right there. It was online. But congratulations to Team Swisher, who, uh, as I mentioned, have gone through this season undefeated in every single game. And a, a massive congratulations to them. A great game in the end. They win it 106-83, Jeff. Yeah, they were really in control from the second quarter, I'd say, on that running. There are a few sort of threatening runs by the Sweaty Betty, so they can, they, can, they can take some positives from that. But, yeah, a really convincing, solid win there for Swisher. Absolutely. Now, leading the way, Carla Stonel, 28 points, 10 assists, 22 rebounds, Jeff. That is a triple-double, if you don't mind. Mm. And then Broomhall came up with 21 points, 8 assists, and what's that, 9, 8, 17 rebounds. So she was two off a triple-double as well, wow. too. Wow, My wow, goodness. Wow. And then Ferguson chipped in with a very handy 19 points as well, too. Harris with 19 as well. Amazing, Ronnie. Look, yep. I'm going to leave you here. I've been summoned down to the court by the commissioner. I'm going to okay. go and see what my responsibilities Absolutely. are. Absolutely. Yep. No, no. We'll get, we'll get you back on very shortly, Jeff, for the men's game. And let's just quickly go through the Sweaty Bettys. Eddie Collins. Uh, so I'll try and get Gab's attention as well, too, while we're here. Um, Gab, we <laughs> can you give me a drink? Yeah, soft drink, mate. Yeah, thanks. We're just doing live catering here. Yeah, yeah, that means drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, live catering as it happening, happening, folks. Um, so, Ellie Collins leading away with 55 points and, let's see, five assists here. And then Coco Aaron had 23 points. 
And Lauren Mills chipped in with nine as well too. I'll just give that to, oh, thanks. Thanks, mate. Oh, yeah, give me, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. So we might turn up the effects mic here. We'll see if we can hear the commish and we'll go from there.
All right, while the, uh, while, while the uh, photos are happening in the background, uh, we've got Jeff back with us. Um, Jeff, uh, what, what were your final thoughts uh, in that game as we, as we quickly wrap this one up and then we'll go, well, then we'll go to break yeah, and look, we'll come the, back for the men? The final score wasn't necessarily as representative as how competitive the game actually was. I thought that was a really good, a really good showing by the Sweaty Bettys and, and a class act by, by Swisher, Team Swisher there, so a well-deserved win. Really interesting now to see if uh, the men's game lives up to that hype and intensity. Absolutely. I think the bar's been set, really, in some way, shape or form, Jeff. That is for sure. Mm. Now, just, qu just quickly before we go to break, JB was tuning in, and he's come back with... Um, he's gone, great call, lads. JJ, a natural on the headset. Oh, look. <laughs> Uh, praise from JB is, is, is very valuable. So I, I'll, I'll take that humbly. Thank you, JB. Absolutely. Right. We will, we will take a break. And then as, as I'll talk with the two Jordans here as well too and have a bit of a chat with them, uh, we'll come back with our men's game. Stay tuned on the live stream. We'll just keep everything down volume-wise, but we'll be back in about, oh, I'd say, about six or so minutes' time. See you shortly.
me. My back pocket's not big enough. Apologies for that, folks. We've got, the referee. We've got one referees mocked up for this game. So that's how far we're going with our broadcast here, Jeff, as well, too. So I bring you back in for the start of the men's game here. The future is now, Ronnie. The future is now. Abs absolutely. Now, we have done this before where we've mocked up the referees just okay. to get a, a different perspective out on the floor and something different for our viewers as well, too. So I love that. Maybe hear a bit of a little player action here, a bit yep. of physicality out there on the court. Absolutely. Great. Of course, I've done that myself. We won the um, reserve grand finals, too, a couple, a couple of years back. And usually we uh, mic up our, senior, uh, our real senior officials like David Farmers um, and, and co. But tonight we're, we're trying young Jordan Cooper. We're... Very happy with his development as a referee at the moment, and um, yeah. Yeah, look, I shout out to the referees, the, the two Jordans, athletes, both of them hey, in their own right, across that I've, uh, a couple of different so sports, so really good to see them out there. And yes, Jordan, young Jordan Cooper, a very competent young ref. Yes, absolutely. So Jordan Cooper just um, just just telling the boys he's mic'd up, so... Like I say, we'll only turn we'll only turn Jordan up when we need to, so we're not oh, necessarily. Zach, are you jumping or is Jordy jumping or? One of you needs to be outside the circle. There you go. Here we go, yeah. Ronnie. We are underway. Swisher taking on Utahs here. Very exciting matchup. This will be this one should be one for the ages. If it was like anything in week one, Jeff, where they went to overtime, mm. we are in for a cracker. Looking forward to it. Angus Stein down low. One on one with Collins, double team arrives, but Angus time gets that two to go, and Je and we're just going to have to update the uh, graphics here as well too. So bear with us, folks, as we go along here. As uh, the three goes up there, that was was that Nashy there? Yeah, good start for young Caleb Nash, yeah, with a wide open three, and he makes them pay. Absolutely, here. Bear with me, folks, as we uh, Harry Graf Griffiths with the ball here, using the that's two the way, game. Jeff. You you just take take it take take the run here. <laughs> Ollie with an impossible looking rebound can't make it work. Caleb dishes to Jordan, who brings it down the floor. Alex Beswick. Finds Caleb again, turns down the shot. Really clever pass to Isaac, making two great decisions, two plays. Great start for Caleb Nash Abs and the Utahs boys. Yeah, absolutely. Now we've got our graphic up. I'll get the scoreboard updated as well too as we go along here. Ball goes out of play. Who's up actually, Jeff? Is it... Do we know? Do we... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, <laughs> Ronnie. What's You're the right? question? Yeah, who, who's up? Who's up? Yeah. That's a good question. I, I, I believe it's the Swisher boys. Oh no, we're tied nope. at five. Tied okay, at five. that Great. makes things easier for me because I'm just going to type in. We got the we got the battle of the MBL sons here. We've got some yes. big MBL names in the building: the Ab Bruton, the Stewarts, got yes. the Nashes, obviously. Really interesting matchups out here tonight. Abs Ollie with the big rebound. Absolutely right. We've got everything fixed on our end and. Now Griffith's going to work and gets the two to go. Showing you why he's one of the league's leading scorers there. Harry Griffiths with an excellent take to the basket. Absolutely. Harry having a good season. Four to charges in the NBL 1 South competition. And foul off the ball here. Looks like someone's run straight through a, a Brooklyn Bruton screen there. And Absol absolutely. Utahs will get the ball on the end. Speaking of the Bruton. Uh, the Bruden name, of course, the Bruden family watching all the way from camera. Shout out to Cal and the family there. As best we can't get that two to go. Shout out to the Brutons. Uh, Stewart now Young off Stewart. and running. Can't make it work. No, he couldn't get to work there. And now Bruden here with it. Clever Walk. little back flick to Jordan. Yeah. Walker. Now Nash for three once again. Yes. What a start for young Caleb Nash. That's his second triple. Absolutely. Okay. Just turn, we're just turning up Jordan there a little bit. We'll, that's what we'll say. We'll try and give you some sounds of the game as, as we go along. And Stewart now works his way in. Going up, or well, passing to Angerstein was interesting, and then Angerstein's mm. finish well was as you like. So Swisher leader by one. 9 8 a scoreline here is Walker, kick out, pass, and then. 
Each week on the broadcast, everyone is getting caught out on that in that short corner there, Jeff. Yeah, just a heel on the line there for Caleb. Not surprising they found him because he's hot. They should keep going back to that well. Absolutely. Youngy in the building as well too here, Jeff, as uh, he's oh, come up to celebrity. join the commission. He's yes, another celebrity. he have been tough. <laughs> Strasba from deep couldn't get that to go. Gets his own rebound. Well, that was an interesting pass in Angerstein. Now goes to Griffiths. Griffiths, Florida, good. Very good patience there by young Griffiths. Both teams just sort of feeling the, each other out at the moment. There's no clear, decisive uh, kind of upper hand at the moment, but I imagine you'll see one develop in the sh not too distant future. Absolutely. Meanwhile, ball goes, ball goes to Collins here for the two and gets it to go down. Reliable 15-foot jump shot there for Isaac Collins. Back of course, his sister Ellie Collins just played in the grand final we witnessed before. Yes, absolutely. Very, another strong get it, get it. southern Tasmanian basketball family. Yep, and ball go, ball knee goes out of play. It's got Jordan in the background there. It's Strasma gets the two to go. Nice little left-handed finger roll for Strasma. Now the ball here with Collins once again. Hargrave with the rebound. Now Griffiths, Ooh, nice pass, Stewart now, going baseline, floater, good. Tidy little floater there for young Stewart. Not something we've seen from Archie over the years, Jeff, but mm. certainly something I think that could definitely utilise in his game a little bit more, mm. that floater shot. Bruden from deep, yes. Brooklyn showing why he is also leading the league in very close to in scoring. Absolutely. The stats do not lie when it comes to Brooklyn Bruins shooting. That is for sure. Hargrave up strong. As, uh, <laughs> no bucket. <laughs> no bucket on the play. You heard it from referee Jordan Cooper. Two shots. Subs in white. There you go. Some sounds of the game there. We'll just keep Jordan down low there. 24 shooting two. Jordy. Yeah, Hargrave. Jordan. Yep, Jordan you're right. Jordy's had, a, Jordy's had a really good season in this inaugural TSS competition. He's been looking to, to cement his spot in that Chargers lineup, and he's been doing it for a long time, and looks like he's, he's coming into some really good form. Absolutely. Hargrave knocking down the first one there. And we'll go two of two yeah, there. Yeah, look, look for Geordie to assert himself on both offensive and defensive rebounds. Absolutely. Margin out to four here currently it, as Swisher lead it. Bestwick from deep. Couldn't get that to go. Hargrave with another rebound. Down, got the arm first. Arm first. There it is. Yep. Securing Black the seven. rebound. Hit. Receiving Black. the foul. Yep. Swisher ball. Absolutely. And that's good communication there from referee Jordan Kirby. That's mm. one that know that um, this is the doesn't need to chat back or anything like that. Just play the game. And Stewart now works his way in. And another floater there for Archie. Looks like he's been working on it, Ronnie. He certainly he's has. Got that, he's definitely got that three-point game. So if he develops a floater to complement that, he's going to be very hard to guard. Absolutely. Let alone with his uh, three-point shooting ability as That's well, too. Yep. And poor turnover there by Utaz. See Strasma with it now. And then Stewart now for a long two. Yes. Bingo. And Mark Nash is saying, uh, if you'll call timeout. Timeout, White. And we better yeah, make just a little bit too yep. easy there. I think Mark Nash, maybe a bit of complacency has set in after the, the hot start there for Utahs. Look for them to come back with higher defensive intensity. Right? Ab absolutely. 4.41 remaining here in the first quarter. Men's grand final between Swisher and Utahs here. Or massive thank you to Lib Eat. Of course, healthy eating. Make sure you reach out to, to them, to one of their stores around the Greater Hobart area. Of course, Libit, a major sponsor here in the Tassie Summer Slam. And a massive thank you to Swisher, who are a broadcast sponsor here tonight. A massive thank you to David Bartlett and the team. Make sure you go to www.swisher.com. Check out their various membership packages they have on offer. Or you can rock up to Melville Street up there, the old K&D building, and see if there's a court available. And you can go in, I think, for as little as 5 or 10 bucks to... Go shoot some hoops here as both teams now 
just about to come here to timeout. Jeff, anything else to add as far as what maybe Stewie and Nashie might have been on about in their timeouts? I think Nashie will definitely be looking to see better defensive intensity. You just, you just can't have people that open on the three-point line at this stage in the game. Still in the first quarter. That's just not intense enough. No, absolutely. So These two teams have certainly had their battles over the course of the season. As I mentioned, the first, the first game they played against each other went to overtime, mm. which was very exciting. Nash, now Bruden. Rose, that was. And everyone getting it. Ruben Castle, good to see him back into the lineup as well after a little bit of injury. Bruden, then, well, rejected by Hargrave and Angus Stein. And now Hargrave off and running here. Harg uh, now, Angus Stein with a nice mini jam. Duncan Stein, if you will. <laughs> yes, Duncan Stein. That's one way of putting it. Of course, the uh, president of the Wham Bam Sham. Thank Ooh. you, ma'am. Club not here <laughs> today. Here in twin. Black 24. Push two shots. Yeah. Subs. Okay. They're there from Jordy Cooper. Come from, you come from this really in control of the game, isn't he, Ronnie? Very yeah, confident in the way that he communicates. The Absolutely. Just explain there to Jordy Hargrave that what the call was and how that... All worked, and again, good, good officiating there by Jordan Cooper as Ruben Castle at the line here for two and knocks Excellent. down the first. Good. Of course, Ruben plays his local club, uh, uh, local ball at Glenorchy, Jeff, and mm. has come through with the likes of Liam Smith, Jack Stanwix. He's come through with those uh, boys. Great players. So he's been around some, some good players as the, uh, as the uh, peanut gallery is now in the building. <laughs> Good to see. Makes for good atmosphere here, Rain. Trust you are enjoying it. As we've got Geordie a little bit too, too turned up. We'll turn him down a little bit. As Ferguson from deep couldn't get that to go. Good work by Angerstein on the boards. Griffiths, nice step through. Bestwick throwing himself in there as well. Strasma for three. Back iron. Griffiths with another O board. So Harry doing a good job here in his first quarter. Very good work rate from Harry so far. Aliou play! Uh, nearly put a Bruden on a poster Point as Einstein went upstairs. There's a serious size mismatch there, but I love the heart of Brooklyn Bruton going straight to that. Absolutely. Now, I'm going to get a quick look here on the, uh, on the, the delay here, Jeff. Mm. Good play, and then... Oh, yes, jeez, if he got that one to go, look out. I mean, it's certainly a foul, but you've got you to commend the bravery of going to meet that and not just getting out of the way. Abs absolutely. We know a lot of small guards do take it mm. to, the, um, to, the big, to the big guys at the rim, and we've heard a lot of talk through, throughout the years where you have to be aggressive against them. Otherwise, you just let them have a field day down That's there. That's right. So, Bruden now. Rose. Putting it to the floor. Rose, Ooh. step back. Well, Bruno mm. able to pick it up. He now fires for three. Can't get that to go. Angus Stone with the rebound. And it fell tight. And the does well to control it. It does. And a foul on the play here as Matt Bettle walks his way through. So, play to restart here on the baseline. It's a real who's who of Tasmanian basketball tonight here at Warren Stadium, isn't it, Ronnie? It is starting to fill up around the place mm. here, uh, Jeff. This is great to see, actually. I say, so. there we go. We've got most of the Chargers boys having, having a yarn. And then um, a lot of people in the bar area. And then down on court, it's nice and full as well, too, as and we have a substitution here. We wouldn't be, full, we wouldn't be far away from capacity, I, I think, Ronnie. I was going to say, yeah. Just by looking at it, I mm. mean, and then yeah, when you had that side, when you had the back part there near the meeting room, um, feel getting to fill up too. Just exactly. again, reminds First me of the good, old second days. no good. Second no good. So another two there for Jordy Strassman. Three on three minutes remaining here. Walker now. Best week fires again from deep. Couldn't get it to go. White twelve through the back. Yeah. White twelve over the back. Black. He did come. He did come through, but he did kind of come barging through. No, come through here. Bestwick disappointed with that call, but I I have to agree with Jordy Cooper. He came in with a lot of momentum and hit the player right in the back. So, although he's disappointed, I think that one is a foul. Yeah. Bestwick, a very competent local player, very yes. very good shooter. Listed at six two, I'd be surprised if it's much more than six one though. Yes, very true, Jeff. Very true. 
as Griffiths now brings the ball down. Up to 24 here. I'll get that updated on the scoreboard as the ball gets moved around here. There's Ferguson now. And then Griffiths down low to Angerstein. Strassman now for the three. Yes. That might be a little bit of a new swag added to Ollie's game. I haven't seen him pass like that much. That's, uh, yeah, that's something in his game. I, I, and mm. it, especially at NBL 1 level as mm. well too, Jeff, that he really needs to capitalise on because we know that um, double teams will be coming at him every time just about. Yeah, yep, yep. He's got to develop that, especially at those high levels, as you say. Yes, Davey into the game. Angus side now finds his way as whistle on the play. If Utahs are going to contain Mr. Angus Stein, they're going to have to play early. That is, you're going to have to stop him getting the ball. Once he's yep. got it, you're already on the back foot. Absolutely, as yes, well. Might have been close. Yeah. yeah so a little bit of communication from Mark Nash to referee Jordan Kirby. Like I so we we might just go with this. We'll just keep him up for a little bit here. I don't think nothing bad has been said too much as Angus Stein knocks down the first. Of course the, uh, the, uh, of course, the opposing coaches here, Mark Nash and Anthony Stewart, are old friends and old teammates. Yes. Played a lot of basketball together as coming up and, and, and the NBL too. Absolutely. Both championship winners at the NBL level. Of course, Stewie with two titles. Mark with the one for the LA 36ers. Of course, Stewie had one, uh, had two, had two. Uh, one a with, very one with, clever pass uh, by Isaac Collins. Yes, very nice pass there, but unable to finish. And as you mentioned, Stewie won one with Perth mm. and Perth. He actually won both with Perth, my bad, and then went to catch from the tie pads. Stewart couldn't get that to go, speaking of a eh, Stewart. Ooh, a head and collision then, there. Ooh, no call Looks on like the, both players are okay. No call on the play. Play continues on here as we... Wind our way down just on 90 seconds before the end of term number one. Utah's a fight, a the defensive a basket. The defensive intensity has certainly picked up at both ends, Ronnie. Yes, as Walker gets that nice floater for the two. He's had a great season, great tournament. Yes, he certainly he certainly has. Uh, there's no doubt about that. He certainly come leave some bounds. Young Jordan Davey. Walker. Davey, we, we, well, not this time, unlucky. No. Caleb cleans it up. He does. Now Bruden off and running. Oh, nice. Connor, no Ooh. looker for the two. Look to, get, look to see Brooklyn start cooking. He'd be wanting to impose himself on this game, I imagine. Absolutely. I, I think it's only a matter of time, Jeff, before we, we see that, um, that cooking happening. Stewart, yes. Stewart's slowly working himself into the game. I like, what he, I like how he's looking out there. And all of a sudden, 30 now to score line here. And... Utah's need to keep the scoreboard ticking. Nash, Collins, they all combine here. Oh, great pass. And then the finish from Nash couldn't be able to get it done. Walker Ooh. rejected by Engerstein. Get that out of here. And then Stewart finds a way through another floater. Yes. <laughs> Look, Ronnie, you caught it early. The floater is an interesting part of young Stewart's game. He's clearly been working on it, perhaps down at Swisher, I, I might say. I would say he yeah. has been. He's got total, well, his dad owns the place, so he's got total access to it. Ah, so. ah I see. Ball goes out of play. You test to, you test to get it back here. Well, this is a big game, and there are there will be some nerves out there. Yeah, no, the Utah's boys clear. just need to settle here a little bit. Mm. Thank you. Absolutely, seven point five. Seven second game clock. Yep, we go. there you go. You heard it from the referee. Seven seconds on the game clock as we wind down to quarter time here for Moraine as Bruden now working his way and through. And Bruden goes ISO up and under. Tough move, and that will do it for quarter time. Yeah, he was in a bit of a rock and a hard place there. Not much time on the clock. He did have Isaac, I believe, open on the 45. Chose to turn it down and put a bit of pressure on the rim. Hard to know what the right decision was there. Unfortunately, it didn't yeah. go for Brooklyn. Absolutely. 32 to 19, our scoreline here at quarter time as we come to you for Moraine. And the boys have got the stats for us here. And let's have a look. And Archie Stewart leading the way. I've got um, Swish's numbers here, uh, Jeff. 10 points. And two assists as well, too. And then Angerstein with seven points, a uh, couple, uh, three rebounds, and that massive block down the other end we just saw. And then Griffiths with seven as well, too, has been handy. So a good spread of scorers here as well, too. Strassman with six, and then Hargrave with that solidarity, two. As, um, 32 points in that first quarter there, Jeff, for Swisher. Yeah, interesting, interesting. Not as much happening on the uh, Utah side, Ronnie. We've got... Nash leading the way with two from two for three and yep. 
accumulating for six points. Um, both of those early in the early early in the game. So there's a little bit of stagnation now for the for the Utah's boys. They just like I said, they're just going to have to settle, go to what works, keep things pretty simple, and and rely on their defensive intensity. Absolutely. Again, a massive thank you to. Uh our broadcast sponsor Swisher for jumping on board and sponsoring us tonight. So thank you to David, Mark and Anthony and the team there. And of course a massive thank you to Libid as well too, major sponsors of the Tassie Silent Slam as we are just about to get underway for the second quarter here as we come to you from Gray. Here we go. As we'll, we'll just turn up Geordie a little bit there to again get some sounds of the game down the floor for you. And Walker with it here as we get moving in the second quarter. So Utah's really need to find a way back into this one, Jeff, or this could blow out if we're not careful. Looks Brooke, like, looks like yep. Swisher are making a concerted effort to keep Brooklyn off the ball. And it's at this stage it's working, but he won't let that last, I don't think. No, I don't think so either. I think we'll see him come to life as oh, Howley. Great D by Isaac Collins. Yes, and then well, Angus Stein just finds a way yeah. to get another two. Yeah, look, if you're going to make that foul, you have to go a little bit harder and make sure that it's not a, you know, an and one. Yeah, Jordan one. Cooper just explaining the yep. call there Sorry, to Isaac. One shot, one shot. Yep, absolutely. We might just... There's that one misses. Isaac would be thinking the ball does not lie. Correct. I think he might have a point. Meanwhile, foul on the play. And... Let's see, Isaac at... No, that's Jordan Walker, sorry, two. at the line for two. And as we... As you mentioned, Jeff, Walker's had a... Had a good good competition for these um, you know six or eight eight or so weeks and um, you know he's he's upskill and whatnot has been has been good to see. I believe he's had a couple of forty point games. So yes, can def as he knocks the second can definitely get going if he needs to. Absolutely, fourteen point game as you say, Ronnie. Yeah, fourteen hour margin here, twenty to thirty four. Double team arrives for Stewart. Good defensive play by Utah's Collins up and running. Walker on the break. Yes. And the boys love it upstairs here as well, too. It's good to hear a bit of crowd noise, isn't it? Yes, it, it. it certainly is. Davey thought Turns about it. Shot. Now Stewart, who's, again, can that floater game continue? Yes. This <laughs> kid loves a floater, and he does. I see why. It's working for him. They're all middle. They're all straight in. Absolutely. I think, I think we're going to have to talk to Anthony afterwards mm. and say, where has this come from from young Archie? Because we know Archie loves the three ball. A floater game has been certainly on point tonight. Collins one-on-one -on -one with Howlett down low. Angerstein joining in the party. Rose now couldn't get that three to go. And then Bruno able to steal that one off. Walker from deep. Not there. Nash with the board. Walker with a floater himself. Not there. The tip not there. Nash another board. Now Collins up strong and foul. That's going to be on Angerstein for coming over the top. Yeah, much like, much like Swisher in the last game, if you're going to... If, you, if the Utah's boys are yep. Yep, going to get four looks at the basket, probably one of them's going to go in. Absolutely. I say Collins. There you go. In the sounds of the game from referee Jordan Cooper. As Collins can't get that one to go. Angerstein <laughs> asking questions downstairs. There's Collins goes one or two. Second one's good. So margin back to 13 here. Strassman now with it. He fires for three just off. Rose with the rebound. Yeah, Utah's got a bit lucky there. I thought that mm. D or perimeter defense was a bit lackadaisical for someone that can shoot that well. So they got lucky on that one, I think, Absolute. Ronnie. Yep, no, fair call. As Collins now fires this one from deep. Oh. Yes! Isaac only needs a little bit of room, Ronnie. Just a little bit. Yep, and he can get that shot up and moving. And, well, we're back to 10, ten now. Ten. Griffith's now working his way in into Angerstein. Nice play and a reverse jam for Ollie Angerstein. Good patience by Harry Griffiths on the assist. Def, waiting for the play to develop. Absolutely. Def taxes dunks by one <laughs> O Angerstein. 
Meanwhile, Rose for three. Just strong on that one. And then Griffiths did a good job. Now, Angerstein with the ball. Karen Drews, spin move, McLaurin. Oh, stand by! As Angerstein gets that to go. Mr. Duncan Stein is in the building, everybody. And it's awfully scary. Who would have thought he'd pull off a spin move? Unbelievable stuff Jeez there. Jeez Louise, even the kid Mish can't believe it. Bruin up strong and a bit of body English on it as well too. Yeah, look for him to impose himself on the game. He's not going to go down line down. Still at a 12 point margin here mm. currently as well. As Griffiths joins in the party, can't get that to go either. Nash now. Rose, Bruden, thought about it. Bruden looking at his options. Fires from territory deep. Can hit the long ball. He can. We've seen that happen for the last few weeks, Jeff, where he's just, he can light up from that range. Yep. yep. That is certainly uh, Steph Curry-like uh, from, from that part of the court. Yeah, not afraid to shoot from the logo, Ronnie. No, that's correct. all. Correct. We need some decal in this place. Meanwhile, <laughs> Hargrave on the reverse. That is a very... that's It's, it's strange because Jordan... Hargraves was one of the rookies that I played with when I was very young, and mm. it's interesting to see him now playing like a veteran. Absolutely, no. It's good to see the maturity of some of these yeah. players evolve, yeah. Chef, as Bruder now getting double teamed here, and he has to get out of it. The double team still possessing. Collins for another three. Just off. Rose with the O board. Walker. I think there was some good D there with a the hand, and then Bruder can't save that one. Substitution here is at its best week. He's coming back into the game for Callum Nash. Brooklyn did a good job to burn that double team off, and he mm. found the right man. Unfortunately, the shot just didn't go down for Collins. Absolutely. Tomorrow we've got uh, T20s in Jordan Hargrave asking Jordan Cooper about the cricket oh, tomorrow, of course. Kept my spot in the <laughs> Jordan Cooper did keep Go. his spot in the, in, in the one side. They're going up to take on the Great Northern Knights in the um, TCA 2020 comp. Athletes everywhere you look, Ronnie. Absolutely, Jordan. Very good cricketer. Yep. Got a fast arm on him as well, too, as a bowler. Strasma into Angerstein. Oh, good read by Bestwick there, Oh, Jeff. Bestwick putting on an absolute defensive clinic and finding Brooklyn on the break. Break, and Bruden gets that two to go. We were a bit of body English on that one. Having impact off the bench immediately for Bestwick. Absolutely. Griffiths now. And then good read by Walker. Oh. Ah, Hargrave able to pick it up. Goes up, and the two. <laughs> we got some vocal crowd members up here in the in the Absolutely. box. Absolutely, who who hired the renter crowd up here? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to work out whose mates are who from uh, and who's watching who. Meanwhile, Bestwick now for the mid range two is good. Classic Bestwick. Yep, nice. Gets the defender off his feet, steps in, knocks down the jumper. It was a nice move, that was for sure. Hargrave Ooh. now with a floater of his own. Angerstein from the clouds. Angerstein up and gets the two. Ooh. He climbs the ladder to retrieve the rebound he and puts does. it home for two. He does. March is still at 14 here. Okay. Just ticks over what we got. 4 4 to go. Is Bruden oh, passed into Rose. Knew the contact was coming, absorbed it, made the dish. It nice. It was a nice find. That was for shut sure. It, shut it. Now, play as Griffiths gets into a little bit of trouble. Foul on the play. Mm. White one. Harry's doing a good job tonight of Subs just in, getting in. in. Oh, sorry, I'm talking over yep, No, no, you're right. No, no, no. Yep, we can. We got sounds of the game. Yeah, we do have sounds of the game. We um, we, we're just keeping we're keeping Jordan at a level where yeah we. I don't have the, the mixer shot, right in front of me, Jeff. So we'll um we'll keep Jordan at a level where we can still hear him in the background mm. if we need to do go to him. We'll, we will. As Angerstein down low, cross court into Stewart. Makes that pass again. Yeah, Stewart now. Floater. Oh, you betcha. <laughs> oh, and he's letting his defender know oh, a little bit as well. Oh, he knows it. He's letting his defender know. Absolutely. Good to see some energy from the young chap. Uh, it's good to see. Archie means business tonight. That mm. is for sure. And at this stage, he's right. No one can stop him. Yeah. He keep going to the well, as we say, Jeff. Yeah. As Walker from deep. Yes. Walker says, don't worry about that. I can shoot a little bit. Absolutely. Knocks the three down. Yep. Back to 11 here on margin. Just on three... Three and a bit to go here. Hargrave. Physical contest at the top here. What's yeah. Jordy going to do? He's he going into Angerstein and offensive foul. Angerstein did kind of clear off. 
Yeah, look, you can you can use that arm intelligently, but any time you extend from the elbow, the ref's yeah. going to call it straight away. Uh, abs absolutely, Jeff. Is, uh, he's just, the only reason he's trying to hold you is because you've shoved him out of the play. You can't play deep because you've cleared him out. Jordan fair, Cooper just saying, point. only reason he shoved you is because you, tr he tried to you tried to hold him. That is a very fair point. Or and vice I, versa. Oh, I, I agree with that wholeheartedly. As Bestwick can't get the two to go, and then... Black ball, black. And back to Team Swisher, that will be. Good sportsmanship there by Mr. Collins, helping both men off the floor. All good. Yep. I didn't think you touched it, so... Now, time out. We can give it to White if you want. Time out. <laughs> good grief. Time out called here is Team Swisher lead it by 11 here. 48 to 37 currently at the moment. Yeah, this is a couple of different coaching styles here as well, Ryan. Yes. You've got Anthony Stewart, who really never looks impressed, even if he's very happy. And Correct. You've got Mark Nash, who's the consummate professional, very Absolutely. calm, very calculated. Yes. Yes, no, it's, it's, it was quite interesting you mentioned that, Jeff. Mm. I swear there was a game back at the, when we were at the, when we were back at World at the deck or My State Bank Arena, as it's called now. Indeed. And I was there, I go to Stewie's Huddle. Hmm. Stewie absolutely going off at, 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 at the boys. Then I go to Ballarat. This was a game against Ballarat. Okay. The Ballarat coach, cool, calm, collective, just working the board. Da, da, da. It was like polarising differences. Stewie absolutely going off his, off his nut. And then, um, yeah, the Ballarat coach, just, uh, yeah, yeah, just cool, well, calm. Look, Stewie's, <laughs> Stewie's had a lot of success as a coach and as yes. a player, so, you know, his methods, there must be some madness in there oh, somewhere. Oh, there must be. There must be. Of course, or but something like that. You know, what I'm, you know what I mean. I do know what you mean, Jeff. <laughs> we won't repeat it to the viewers. Here we go. Oh, there we go. Hang on. We'll just get Shorty right there. Yep, I'm happy with that. His play continues out of the timeout now. Griffith's getting into a little bit of trouble here. Utah's really up, up, and out, up in the ante. Stewart now. Smart by Stewart. Just calm that down. Burn off that, that defensive pressure and get into your half-court set. Yeah, good poise. Stewart now for three and rewards himself after all those floaters. He is really letting Geordie Walker know. I think there's a, I think there's a bit of a point to prove with some of these mm. players. Obviously, some of these players will be in the Charger squad next uh, year. As Bestwick rattles that one down from downtown. Bestwick with a no-hesitation three. Seen him do it a lot of times over the last few years. Absolutely, but I, I'd say, Jeff, just mm. with, regard with some of these matchups, some of these players are actually playing for minutes next year in the squad. Yeah, Ronnie, you make an excellent point. And look, some of these chaps are young enough and competitive enough that they're still looking at trying to make the league. They're trying to go yeah. to the NBL. So this Absolutely. is, this is a, 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 an interesting stage for some of these young men. Correct, and there is, an, of course, as, as we mentioned on the broadcast throughout the... Uh, now he can't turn around and post up. There we go. The explanation from referee John Cooper. But of course, we, we are hearing some some word coming out of Chargers camp. There will be some announcements in regards to the coaching staff and the uh, the players over the next few weeks. So stay stay tuned on Chargers TV. We'll have it for you as David and <laughs> Angerstein just with the putback. Yeah, look, it may as well have been a pass. Ollie Angerstein just cleaning that one up and flushing it home. Absolutely. 53, I've got 53, oh, we'll fix that scoreboard up in a second as Nash gets the two. Good play there. Good to see Nash finish that one at the basket. Started off hot and went missing a little bit, but looked like he might be uh, trying to find his way back into the game. Absolutely, 42-53, we are up to date with the scores as Stewart goes up strong, couldn't get it to go. Carlson now off, off and running. Bruder now, that first step so quick, Carlson. Bit too much on that one. Black. Soft Brooklyn, soft Brooklyn's black hole. Yeah, so look, you'd be disappointed with that as uh, mm. as as the coach of the of the Utah's boys. There, they had a, a basically a three on two that they could have turned into a into a bucket, and unfortunately weren't able to capitalise. You did have somebody running back as help, but yeah, you really have to take advantage of those ones. You're not going to get a much easier look. That's 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 right. Ball now to Angerstein. Bestwick from the clouds able to read that, and now Utah's got the ball up the floor here now. Rose, oh nice kind of no giver. And he gets his own rebound back. a four-on-two situation. You must capitalise. Absolutely. As Bestwick now for three. Fouled. And we'll go to line for three. Interesting on the defensive end, Ronnie. Yeah. The Utah's boys have decided to really help off 
their players. Yes. So you're finding that guy come across from the split line for those sneaky steals or steal attempts yeah. from behind. Mm. Absolutely. And, of course, you know, sometimes as a post player, you want to try and demand the ball. Do, mm. I, do I demand it a bit more down here or mm. down, down low at the body just so then you're not trying to get this one up mm. high and get that deflected mm. as the first one goes down for Bestwick? The, the key there for Ollie, because he's got such a size advantage on almost all of his defenders, he needs to get that ball high yeah. and keep it there. Absolutely. When he brings that ball down low, it gives that team the opportunity to get that sneaky steal. Yes. Yes, no, definitely. That's a, it's a very good point. And as best week has gone two of two here currently. Nice pink shoes, by the way, as he goes three of three. 100% for best week. Yes. Great shooter. Substitution here. We might turn up, we might turn up Geordie a little bit now. So we just wanted to talk about a couple of things there. Looks like Stewie's just trying to insert a bit of calm back into the team with that substitution. Bring back Geordie, try and settle the ship a little bit. Yeah, no, it's, it's not about a good substitution. As... Now, Stewart now. Davey. Ferguson takes a hit. Play continues on. That was a good closeout. As Hargrave now for three. And Bestwick did land in his landing space. And now that is the, yeah, that is the trend now in the, in, in the game. Which one's that? Subs in, guys. That's Berg's driving. It's going to push off of that. Over there. Is it, they setting the screen or is it when they're trying to cut? No, I'm guarding. I'm cutting off. Brooklyn just talking to Jordan Cooper there about yeah. something that happened earlier in the play when he mm. closed out and then yeah, took, it, took, a hit, took a hit, hit to the chest. Yeah. I think Bro Brooklyn's position is that that should have been a charge. I, I'm not so sure. I think it was a good no call. Yeah, now I, I'm with you there, Jeff. I think that one you could you could play through a little bit. I could certainly see Brooklyn's point though. Mm. That is for sure. Is uh, Hargrave gets that one to go. I say, and this and this is a nice part about our broadcast when we do micro referees up and get that kind of two way conversation. It is great to hear what is actually happening out on the floor, Jeff. We will certainly not. I, I'm not. I'm not tempted to mic up the coaches. No, yet. let's let's no. not do that. No, I don't think we will. Meanwhile, Nash. Oh well, it looked good out of the hand. It did. Just couldn't seem to um, find the uh, ring there, Jeff. So, Davy now working his way back down low. And then, oh, good read by Walker. He gets onto it. Walker into Rose. Good fake. And a foul. Excellent hustle by Jordan Walker. Yes. Good vision to make yes. the pass. Geordie Hargrave knew what was his situation, and he Ab went up and made a hard foul. Absolutely. Make him earn it from the line. And that, it probably good hits our play from Jordan Hargrave there. I think so. As, yep, we will definitely say that is a good heads-up play because Rose misses the first. It's a bonus if he, it's a bonus if, if you're him and he misses the second here, which we made, which we made happen. In retrospect, excellent foul. Yep, it's a good, yep, definitely. As Hargrave now, Ferguson. Ferguson can get going if he wants to. He's a, yes. a great shooter and good off the dribble. Absolutely. He has shown, he's shown that throughout this year as well too as Stewart. Now Hargrave. That, that has to go. Yep, fires and couldn't get that to go off glass. Davey with it. Game clock at five. And now Stewart will let that one out. 2.9 remaining. So timeout here from Mark Nash. As Swiss, as, out, guys. as Swisher will draw up a play, uh, sorry, Utahs will draw up a play and see if they can get this into single digits. You can see that competitive edge coming through with, yeah. uh, with that last play for, for Brooklyn Bruton. Mm. He went to the ball, went hard at it, put, put a hand up and then hit him, with the, hit him with the chest, which is a legal play. It resulted in a bad pass and a turnover. Now they've got a chance at one last look for the end of the quarter. Absolutely. So... See what both teams can come out here, especially from Utah. They've got the play on the sideline, so we'll see how they draw this one up. And Utah will be trying to, uh, sorry, uh, Swisher will be trying to deny everything. And uh, great to have you with us on the live stream here as we come to you from Rain by the Chargers TV YouTube channel. And um, again, a massive thank you to Lib Eat, healthy eating, of course. Make sure you check out their uh, their uh, stores and or cafes, restaurants, whatever. Uh, in the uh, Greater Hobart area, and a, a massive thank you to Swisher as our broadcast sponsor for tonight on the Grand Finals. If you're tuning in, Mr. Bartlett, 
hello to you if you are tuning in. The text line, as we as we do say, the text line is usually open, folks, as well, too. So do come do say hi. We try and give everyone a shout out where we can. But our attention will turn on this play here for you, Taz, as they've got 2.9 to try and get a score here. Nash, Bruden, fake, shot, no good. That's a, time. that's a relatively clean look. He, he got yeah. the look they wanted. They, it was, they ran a diversion with the first cut, and the yes. second cut was where they really wanted to go. Brooklyn did a good job of getting it off. He was a little unbalanced. Unfortunately, he didn't yes. go. No. Uh, but, uh, hey, good first half, and 10 points is our margin here at halftime, Jeff. 55 mm. to 45 in favour of Swisher. They lead it currently at the moment. The boys have got the iPads here, and we've got some stats for you now. And Ollie Angerstein leading the way for Swisher with 19 points. Seven rebounds and well, there's one block and an assist there as well too. Archie Stewart with 17 points currently at the moment. 8 of 11 from the field as well too, Jeff. And actually, Ollie Angerstein is 9 of 9 from the field. So good good work there. Yeah, look, consistently good player. On the, uh, on the, on the Utah side, it, it's much the same as it was last quarter, really. You've got much more even spread of scoring, though, now with yeah. really all starters contributing around that eight-point mark. Bruton's leading the way with nine. Interesting to me, Caleb Nash, after his hot shooting start, actually is, has six rebounds. He, yeah. We could see a we could see a, a pretty tidy double double from Caleb tonight. Yes, I think. Ab- absolutely. That he's uh, he's definitely on the on the radar there for it, and uh, you know certainly if you just can just get a few more stops here, Jeff, and mm. just really amp up their defense intensity, which we think we've kind of seen from from Swisher early mm. on. I mean, it's helped with those shots dropping as well too, but. I mean, Utah's just a little bit slow off the blocks, but they've worked their way back in. They're only 10 down at a half, and that's nothing to sneeze at right now. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. You know, like, where they were to where they are now, they'd be, Utah's that is, would be yeah. really happy with the mm. way they've clawed themselves back into this game. I think, you know, any time, like I said in the last game, in the last grand final, which we saw, any time you're within 10, it's, 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 anything's possible. Yeah. And there are a lot of competitors on this floor. There are a lot of individual players on both teams that can really get heated and change the game themselves. So this second half's going to be really exciting, Ronnie. Absolutely. Yeah, looking forward to it. It should be good. Of course, the crowd has stayed around here as well too. Good to see. And the commission keeping an eye on everything and everything going on around us as well too, making sure nothing we don't get hit or anything like that. Good to, good to see. Yeah, yeah, go for it. What's that mic? Huh? What's that other mic? Oh, I've got that turned down. That's turned down now. No, we can't hear anything from that mic. But we can pull the mic away, actually. As an idea, just yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just doing live producing while we're here as well too, Jeff. We're just gonna we we haven't turned up the effects mic just because we do have the crowd there. So we'll just we'll just keep it we'll just keep it there. That's fine. But we what we won't do we won't turn up the volume. Like I say, we got as we say we got one of the refs mic'd up, so we can turn him up a little bit just so then we get that ambient sound. As Jeff is just going to. Waltz his way over to this side here as we get underway for the second half. We'll turn up we'll turn up Jordy's mic here. I just go. don't want to give any double feedback, Ronnie, so I'm gonna move a little way All right. away from the other mic. No worries, yep. No, we, we like I say we've got that one turned down, Jeff. So if it worse comes to worse, we wouldn't hear anything um, besides your headset. Excellent. So so there you go. Don't worry, we we've got you covered here on Chargers TV with everything and anything. I just Push that over a tad. There we go. Much better as we continue on here is Hargrave. Couldn't get that shot to go. And now Walker coming up the floor here. Crucial for Utah to get a score here in this opening possession. And it's Bruden. Walker going up strong. Floater off glass. Couldn't get it to go. And now Collins. Nash at the corner for a long two. He's off. And then Bruden able to find the ball. Walker now. Couldn't get that three to go. And then good scraps. Carlson. Oh, nearly out an opening. Walker. Collins now from deep. Angerstein finally gets the rebound. That was a very clean look. Isaac yeah. stepped into that, had a lot of time to consider it, and unfortunately couldn't get it to go. Absolutely. Griffiths now working his way through. Back to Angerstein as Strasper now spins. Hargrave open for three. He's short on that one, and Walker able to pick this one up, and off we go. Walker going up strong, and a two. Walker with a with a slow step and a Euro combined to finish at the hole with the left hand. Very impressive uh, move very, by Jordan Walker. Very good finish. And Stewart now 
Looking at his options, getting double teamed at the top. Now the ball with Griffiths here at the corner for three. Yeah, look, he, he basically had time to put up a tent and get comfortable, make a cup of tea, and I'm unsurprised to see that three go down. We do know Harry can knock it down, that is for sure. We know Bruden can, but short on that occasion. Ball, play, play. And black ball. Black Isaac, ball. Another board for yep. Geordie Hargraves. Like mm. Isaac Collins not giving up on the play, though. Really, yeah. So we will need a towel. Yes, we've got a wet spot on the floor. No 14 remaining here. If he should bark it out, instructions down on the floor. Good towel. Jordan Cooper looking for a towel. towel. I don't know if we can help up here. Ronnie. No, we Not can't, we unfortunately. Can I did donate a towel. I don't know what happened to that towel. <laughs> I donated one back early in, <laughs> early in the competition. Is Julie up there? Donated towel. Yeah, yeah, you. Is Julie yeah. up there? Yes, he is up is there. He's got a towel. Uh, we're, we're looking for a towel. One. Yes, we're... And Matt Hargrave on the search for a towel as well, too. It is all happening around the place. We're, we're looking for one. We are looking for one. Okay. Or oh, we're just going to use a hoodie here, I think, by the sounds of it. Hang on. Oh, we got a Jordy. Jordy. Thank you. You can buy me a new jumper. <laughs> yeah. uh, don't use that. No? Awesome. Hang on, we've got to throw it back up, are we? The jumper's been rejected. The jumper's been rejected, you Ah, uh, If you've got one, it looks all right for now, but... That's typical of the commissioner. Give, he'll give <laughs> you the shirt off his back, this bloke. Yeah, he will. Absolutely. <laughs> what for? He didn't have possession. Here we go. Check Stanwix in the building as well, too, there on Celebrity oh, Watch. I uh, thought Jeff. I saw Jack Stanwix. I wasn't sure, though. It's been a while since I've seen him. Welcome, yeah. welcome home to the young fella. Absolutely. Bruden and Ferguson diving into each other. As boys, 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 boys. It's getting a bit yeah. chippy out there. There's it a is. bit of emotion. White one. Pushing foul. Black ball. Didn't look to be any malice in that to me. I think there was yeah. just a collision of bodies, but both, both boys deciding up. that they're going to uh, draw a line in the sand there, Ronnie. Absol black absolutely. Black uh, credit to the spectators down there as well too. I don't think they moved a flinch as well either. Because <laughs> they both, both uh, Bruden and Ferguson went right we into those two, two ladies there, or yeah. three ladies down there. I guess that's front row courtside seat action for you, Ronnie. Absolutely. Yeah. Up and close as <laughs> Angus Stein with another two-hand wham, bam, jam. Thank you, man. Well, Mr. Duncan Stein flushed it, but I thought Stratzman might get up then. It looked like he was going up top for well, it. I thought so. It's Walker from downtown. John Walker hits a three, looks at the hand. Three, get it in. Celebrates. Get it in. Well, I got 50-60. We got 49-60 in venue. Well, um, I'll just see what happens there. As Cal Bruden uh, chiming in as Angerstein. Well, as Bruden takes a knock. And then the two and the two did, did go down there in the end, Jeff. Yeah. Looks like we're on the search for a towel again. Again. Absolutely. So I'm going to see. Four, so we've got Is 49 Gavin in the venue. Gavin. Gavin. Maybe we could uh, maybe we can a uh, get a sponsor from um, Sheridan or some yeah. one of the Absolutely. one of the world famous towel manufacturers. Yes, perhaps. I think we need to get the commission onto Thanks, this thank actually, you. Jeff. We'll, mm. um, <laughs> something for next no, something for next year. Um, that is for sure. We just got I just got a text message from Cal Bruden that? saying it's okay. a, he's uh, enjoying the game. It's a good game, and uh, he's he's loving it. So uh, thank you thank you, Cal. So as a man Jamie mentioned, text nice. line is always open. Feel nice free to, to reach hear out. From an NBL legend. Yes. Good to see him. Of course, he was only down Hobart a couple of weeks ago as well, too, as Walker misses that three. Angus time with the rebound. I like that aggression by Walker. Mm. It didn't go down, but I think when he's open, he has to shoot. Absolutely. Ferguson from deep. Couldn't get that Little to off go. there. Now, Looks Walker. like Utahs are trying to run a bit of their offense through, through Jordan Walker at the moment, although the ball's in Brooklyn's hand at the moment, yeah. and he gets to the hoop. Has it taken off him by Ollie Angus time? Probably a foul there by... Isaac, but goes without the call. Absolutely. They'll continue on playing here. Walker now. Looking for an on-ball here. Collins provides that. Throwback pass. Collins for three. Back iron as... Well, Carlson tried everything on that one, but it's no avail. Yeah, Straight, all, all yep. he kept, only kept the ball high there, and, you know, the result was it was much harder to get that steal, yep. so... Yep, Absolutely. 
as Ferguson. Now Griffiths here. Griffiths finds an opening and just a bit too strong. Angerstein makes up for that. Gets hit and we'll go Sorry. to line for one. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, look, I've had the fortune of playing on a team with, with Oli Angerstein and it, 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 uh, it makes it easier for your decision making. You know if that you go to the basket and you go to the basket with energy and hard, that even if you do miss, he's very likely to clean it up. So yeah, that changes the dynamic for the, the, you know, the Swisher boys. Okay, absolutely. Of course, won a, ch won a championship as well too with, with Oli for the Summer Wolves there, Jeff. That's right. Of course, That's that right. team photo just behind us here in the uh, rooms. Indeed. Here. Yes, I remember that game well. You can see that on the West Coast Ball Connection YouTube channel. Meanwhile, good shout out, Ronnie. You got that <laughs> one in there nice and quick. The one I actually <laughs> run. Meanwhile, Ferguson. Ooh. Nice running by Ferguson to get the layup and timeout from Mark Nash. Yeah, just in a little danger of letting this one creep away, Ronnie. Yes. It's a little bit tit for tat at the moment. You'd want to see both teams kind of get through more of their offense. I would have, I would have thought. That's hopefully what Mark Nash is relaying to his his troops. A little bit rushed on offense, I'd say. Yes, yes, there is that little bit of rushness and a little bit of, oh, I wouldn't say indecisiveness mm. at, at, at the top there. They're obviously trying to run some things up high, mm. but it's certainly just not. You know, it seems like the, the Swisher defense is there. They're matching it bit by bit. Yeah, I think so. I think that's right. You know, the, uh, uh, like you like you point out, I think the the two man game is is a good option. I, I, I think we saw some good actions between Jordan Walker and Isaac Collins. Isaac can shoot that. He can yeah. also dive to the hoop. So that, that's that's a, a profitable action, but it leaves the other three players a little bit out of the yeah. you know, and and becomes a little bit stagnant on the other side mm. of the floor. Definitely. So I think a little bit more ball movement will be the message here from head coach Mark Nash as both teams come out of the timeout. Indeed, Six oh one remaining here in the third quarter. And Swisher leader by 19 at this point in time. So both teams out on the floor here. Get a massive thank you to uh, Swisher as our broadcast sponsor for tonight. And, of course, Liber Eat, the major sponsor of the Tassie Summer Slam as we are at the... Penultimate grand finale here of the actual uh, tournament roster, whatever you want to call it. And uh, great to see the two best teams are here in the grand final. Bruton, showing again double teamed and a backcourt violation. Yeah, they're, they're making it. They're making it difficult for Brooklyn out there. They're mm. double teaming him on almost every possession. He's got, to, he's got to take a step back and, and, and reassess the way he's playing here. This is, this is an interesting test for young, for young Booker. Absolutely. Always a competitor and forces the turnover. Yep. And it's good hustle there by Brooklyn, who, um, yep, as you mentioned, Jeff, he's uh, never, never dies wondering. That's you know, for sure. One of the things that I, I think about younger players is when they're finding it difficult to get their offensive game going, they can always go back to their defense and energy. Set, set. Yes. Find that, use that as a way to get into the game, and then your shots will come. Absolutely. No, it's a good point you raise there as ball goes out of play. Play to restart here for Walker. Now Collins with it. Cross court to Rose. And then good pass into Bruden for the two. Might have an argument for and one there, Ronnie, but oh, keeping yeah. his mouth closed and, and getting on with the game. And that's the other thing too from Brooklyn, the maturity. And just playing through contact as Bruton hits the floor once again. And then, oh, that was well great, saved. Great team defence here by Utahs mm. on this possession, Ronnie. Yes. Now, Griffiths working his way through. Oh, rejected by Rose. Good defensive play by uh, Utahs. Walker now off and running. Floater just missed. Yeah, look, that's the power of Oli Angerstein. He didn't mm. really even contest the shot, but no. just his presence made... Uh, who made him change his yeah, shot. Yeah, made him change that shot. Yeah. As Stressman gets the two down the other end. Now to 70 here for Swisher. 51, Utaz. Bruton loses the handle. And substitutions here. Mm. Seeing young Nash come back in, I'll be interested to see if that rest has done him well and if he can get back on those boards, maybe get a few open threes. Let's see how, how Caleb imposes himself on this game yeah. in this, this third. Absolutely. Can there be a little bit of a hot streak here from Utah's and just see if they can get this back within 
within a handy mar within a handy margin. You would mm. like to try and get it back to don't say hold, twelve. Don't hold. Twelve or ten here. Yep. As Stewart now fires one from deep, couldn't get that to go. Best with, with the Best board. Best secures the rebound. Yes. Now Bruton. Bestwick, fake. Bruton now for three. Just off on that one as Strasburg gets the rebound. Now ball up the floor here, Stewart. Nice fake. Rose can test, but Stewart was able to get the two. So this game has ballooned out to 21 currently at the moment. Utahs are finding a way in, but Bruton unfortunately turned that one over. Strasburg now. Davey for a long two. Angus Stein. And well, <laughs> another foul. And a basket as well, too, for Angus Stein, we should mention. Yeah, Ollie's starting to sort of really impose himself on this game now, which is unsurprising in some ways. I think if you're the Utah's team, you need to start One. thinking about sharing that ball around, getting mm -hmm. it moving, getting it whipping around a little bit, creating a bit of movement for the defense. And once that defense starts moving and reacting to the ball swing, then your seams are going to open up a little bit more. At the moment, the Utah's boys are trying to force themselves into those seams, and it's, it's difficult. It's tough in there. Absolutely. Carlson now from the elbow, strong in that shot. Not a bad little action there. That was uh, a, a good action. Unfortunately, they didn't get the result they needed. Howlett. Now Davey. Howlett. Stewart now finds an opening. Oh, and then good D, D by Rose there. Nash able to pick it up. Carlson. It's tough in there in the trees. It is. Bestwick from deep. Oh, couldn't get the go. Bruton and Ferguson reunited with each other once again. And now ball to Nash. Bruden now. Bruden trying you to find his back. way You've got to look back. Yep. And then good D, hey. good D by uh, Ferguson and Stewart. And then, well, and Jordan, oh. Jordan Cooper with the assist. Stewart <laughs> couldn't get that to go. Oh, wow. That is an interesting passage of play. It is. Now, can we get a score out of all this after the um, comedy of errors? Best we can know. Angus Stein, rebound, Stewart now clear, up strong, and the two. Because if the ball touches the referee, uh, he's part of the court, so it just means play on. Is that it's right? Just, it's just a, yes, it's just an unfortunate thing in the game sometimes, Jeff, where if the ball hits the referee and it comes off and you get it, you might as well give, give the assist to the refs. <laughs> Rose, good use of the body there, and just couldn't get that two to go. Oh, it's a bit like there's a lid on it for Utahs at the moment. Mm. They're, they're really struggling to convert on the offensive end. Yes. Yeah, the scoring has dried up. They haven't moved from 51 in a little bit. Good hands by Bestwick. Now Bruden aggressive on the oh, drive. Wow. And then foul on the play as Bruden went up with a... Thanks, Will. Will. Brooklyn looking a little shaken up. I think yeah. he's fine. I think he's just taking a bit of a rest. Yeah, guys, taking time his out. time. Time out on the play. Always concerning when you see a hard foul when a player is planting for their layup. And I think, and the other thing too, Chef, on, on that mm. play was, Bruton was in front, wanted to come back and, I'm well, not saying, they were, I mean, Stuart was on, on mm. the momentum, so there was definitely going to, always going to be contact, but mm. it's a savvy kind of play sometimes, or veteran type of play, where mm. you kind of that, and then back in, when mm. that forces the referees to have to blow the whistle because there's been contact there, and that's a foul. Really interesting point, Ronnie. I'm sure that's coming from your significant training as a referee. <laughs> Look, as, as, a, as a player, you're, you're exactly right. You know, one of your jobs as a player when you've got the ball in your hand is to, or, or otherwise, is to put pressure on the referees to make a call. Yes. You know? And, and you're right. In, in that play, Brooklyn did exactly that. He, as you said, he sort of dropped that shoulder into the defensive player and, saw, and absorbed the momentum and it resulted in a foul. Absolutely. I mean, really interesting perspective, Ronnie. Yes, no, no. I mean, when you refereed for 20 years and seen your fair share of things and, and what we get called and what we call out on the floor, it's, mm. um, yeah, it's, it's, always, it's always interesting then to see what the other referees call as well too. Mm. Uh, it was a good, there was a really good example. I think it was at the World Cup with, with mm. Paddy Mills just kind of coming down and then backing into a player. And, of course, there was no, no choice but having to call a foul. Um, I know we're talking a bit of high level FIBA ball there, mm. um, but certainly it's still at this local. Again, when a player does 
kind of want to go back just to give himself a bit more room as Bruins at the line here for two. Um, the play with momentum coming to try and stop that, you know, nine times out of ten, that's going to be a foul. Yeah. Because it's like, unless you can really stop your momentum, which not happens all it's hard the time, to stop. it's hard to stop, then, yeah, I think that it's a fair call to say, you know, the whistle needs to be blown. That's going to feel good for Bruton. He's been working hard, so he's, it's good to see those two go in. He's going to take a rest, come back and try and put a good, e- good effort in for the and fourth I quarter, good, I imagine. I think that's a good sub by Coach Mark Nash as well, too. Bruton's got a little bit heated through throughout. Mm. You know, I think at time, there were a couple of times there where he try and force his way into it, and then there were times where he let the game come to him. Mm. So not a bad breather here for, for young Brooklyn, and hopefully he comes back in the last quarter and lights it up. Because the games I've, I've missed, he's, he's lighted it up from everywhere. Strassman now on the drive. Off glass, wow. yes. That's a classy finish from young Strassman. Good to see Rick and Belinda in attendance. That's his parents, of course. Nash now putting it to the floor. Oh. Carlson. Bestwick. Oh, good pass in the Carlson. This nice is, play. That's nice a really play. nice possession, Ronnie. As we said earlier in the mm. piece, we're going to need to see them share the ball around and keep it moving, keep yes. it flying around for them to have, have more success. Absolutely. Davey can't get that to go. Howler couldn't get that to go either. Now Walker, Nash, Collins. Hit him. Yep. Here he is. Bestwick for three. Just off on that one. It was a good knock on the last. One senses that the Utah's boys are putting in a, a little fight here. There's a, there seems to be a renewed energy about the defense and, and also their transition play. Absolutely. Griffith's slowing this one down. Game a uh, shot clock at eight. Sorry, as Strasma working his way through. Throws up the Hail Mary. Nearly got to go. He won the foul. Referees in Sido. Oh, Howard goes into Carlson, and there'll be a foul on the play here. And we'll just see what we got. White ball. White ball with 5.1 remaining. White. Certainly can't fault either team's effort, really. No, no, certainly not. They're, they're, they're putting in a good fight, which is which is good, which has been good to see, Jeff. Regardless of the margin being at 27 right now, mm. we've seen a different Utah side in this third quarter. I agree, I agree. As we, again, we attend to the wet spot around the place. Yeah, it's warm in here. <laughs> Here we go. No kidding. Well, there's a lot. Of, there's a few people around the place. That is for sure. Collins now. Collins oh. just lost a handle, and Davy not there. So three quarter time arrives. It's a 27 point lead to Swisher. This is a tough one for you, Taz. Mm. If you're Mark Nash, it's hard to know what to what to talk about here. I think the positives for Utah's in that quarter were. An increased intensity on defense. We have some stats coming yep, in. Yep, right? we do. Yep, yep. Um, and better sharing of the ball. Yes. Ball movement. We saw that two plays, three plays ago, that ball really whipping around. Ended up in a really nice, easy open layup. Absolutely. Well, who you got there, Jeff? Uh, yeah, so look, interesting. Again, the, the, they're doing a good job of sharing the, the scoring load. You've got Brooklyn, Bruton with 13, and, and, and Jordan Walker with 12. The rest of the starters have eight. Yep. You've got some pretty decent shooting. You've got best with, with three from three for the foul, foul line and one from five from three-point line, two from eight from the field. Look for, look for best week to get more shots in the, third, in the fourth quarter and, and, and look for Brooklyn to come back with some energy after that little rest in the end. Absolutely. And just quickly, Oli Engstein leading the way. Just, yeah, Oli Engstein leading the way with 23 points currently with 15 rebounds. And Archie Stewart also with 21 points and three assists as well. As we're about to get underway here in the last quarter here. And what has been a big night of hoops here, Jeff, that is for sure to round out our coverage for the year as well. It's been great to be on the mic with you, Ronnie. You've been doing this for a long time, and I really appreciate the support from you tonight. So, yeah, real pleasure to be up here with the, on the call with you. Uh, you're doing a fantastic job, Jeff. Great to have you with us here. As Collins now throws that one up. Could have get that to go, and then Griffith's able to pull that rebound in. Looks like we're picking up at the half court. Yep. Now, Davey now, looking for Hargrave. Now he gets it here at the corner. Cross court, Strasma. Good find. Now, Howlett open for three. Just couldn't get that to go. Strasma with another O board. Davey did a good job of, you know, getting that one back. 
Now, cross call once again. Strasma, one one step dribble is no good. Very unselfish from young Davy there. Could have mm. could have taken the layup, but decided to find his teammate for the yeah, three. Absolutely, jump, jump ball on the play. These guys. Harry Griffiths will We've go out. Young Stewart will come in. I, I agree with you, but we've already called the jump ball because that's what happened first. We don't have a foul after it. Just need a towel. All right. Jordan Cooper just Thanks. working his way through, and we have a tea towel. That's the best we can offer at the moment. <laughs> a tea towel. It's a type of nice towel. It's, we're we're it's making it progress. It's, it's not a jumper. <laughs> Correct. So. No, no, the jumper is still here in uh, good condition. Referee Jordan Cooper on Janet or Judy. That's the crowd making a little bit of noisy. <laughs> Appreciated by Bestwick. Yes. There's a, there's a med kit just over there, on the bench over there. Good energy by we the crowd yeah, here. No, Unfortunately, no, he can't get anyone to support, no, which no, is a, a no. shame. That is a shame. He's, try, he's trying his best, <laughs> that is for sure. Meanwhile, Stuart now with it as he's going to work. Howlett, Strassman, they all combine here at the top. Shot clock at three. Davey will need to throw up a prayer. Not answered on that occasion. Hargrave, though, has the ball after Howlett got the offensive rebound. Stewart. And that's a foul on Walker for a clear reach in. So yeah, look, a little bit of the energy has been sucked out of the building with this significant margin yes. building, Ronnie. This mm. is an interesting test for you, Taz. A lot, of these, a lot of these are young players. This is an interesting moment. Absolutely. And you have to settle yourself. Yes, Nash Try gets get back the in the game. Yep. So on cue for us, Nash. Now Collins. Oh, oh great pass. pass. And then Walker with a finish. Isaac is a great facilitator from that, that part of the court. Turns and sees everything, makes the right decision. Crowd making some noise here at the Lorraine Basketball Stadium. So we've got stadium. a three-quarter court press, Ronnie. Yeah, a little bit of pressure. I assume these people are from the uni or something. I think they're just basketball lovers, Ronnie. I'd hope. I'd like to think that'd be the case. And Stra they're picking the underdog. It makes yep. sense to me. It does. Strasma, turn around, Jay, is no good. Bestwick keeping that alive, getting it to his teammate. Yep, absolutely. Foul on the play as Geordie Hargrave and he takes it right now. Subs in. I think he's had one too many, that guy. <laughs> but anyway, substitutions coming in. Brooklyn Bruden in for Caleb Nash. Look, it's fun up here in the bar. Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> and it's Bruden now. Walker. Here's Collins now. Oh, yeah, nice, nice handy move there. Collins oh. fought about it. Awkward oh. pass in the rows. Rose over Angerstein. Not there. And then, yeah, Bruden. Unfortunately, again, all that momentum just going into the back of Geordie Hargrave. Great patience there by Isaac. He made the right call. He made the right decision. He waited for the play to develop. Unfortunately, when you've just got someone who's 6'10 with a 40-inch vertical, it's just going to make making a layup at the basket really hard. Absolutely. Plague. Hi, Courtney. Plague. Yes, yes. Plenty of, yes. Just to shout you out on broadcast, yes. Meanwhile, Hargrave now. Howlett getting stuck. Good pressure by you, Taz. As Davey. Now Stewart at the corner here, going strong. Reverse. Oh, Angerstein. Well, that's his first miss of the game. Second miss of the game. Third, Third miss. Fourth miss. Please, please. And Walker saved that. Good shot by Geordie Walker. Might have just been a bit of uh, stat padding there by uh, I think so. our friend Ollie Angerstein. Absolutely. And the uh, tip goes in. I think Hargrave accidentally tipped that in. Nah, he got it. Clever tip there. Knew he didn't have enough time to bring the ball down and just, just touched it in the right way to make it go in the hole. Absolutely. Marching back to, uh, what have we got here? 19. I'd never say never. But I've seen stranger things they're happen. Eating, they're eating into it. Slowly. Yeah. And then Angerstein going down low. Angerstein triple teamed. Davey 
Now Hargrave open for three. Just off and then Ang well, Angus time missed a tip and then he gets his own slam. Yeah, look, it looks like the direction from the coach is to front on Ollie. That time just a little bit late on the front. So yeah. once he's got it, it's a bit play, it's, play. it's really over. Absolutely. Shot missed there. Bruden able to get the ball now and going to work. Bruden, kick out pass. Walker looks good. Is good for Jordan Walker. Great find. Excellent finish. Time out black. Time out. Anthony Stewart knows as well as anybody else that Bask, this is a game of momentum. And Absolutely. He, he can feel that momentum yes. slightly shifting. Mm -hmm. And as a veteran coach, he calls the timeout. He may not even talk about plays here. He may just talk to, you know, he may just ask them what they're doing over the weekend, but he just wants to cut that energy short. Absolutely. Sometimes, uh, hey, Jeff, I can speak on, the, we can kind of speak about this on coaching experience. You know, certainly sometimes in the juniors, mm. when I coach, and you have that in the, this team has that kind of run on you. Sometimes you do throw the white ball out, and it's just more about let's just stay calm, let's just rally back here. We don't need to do anything silly or stupid. You know, just find your way back in the game. Weather the storm, keep go keep going. Exactly, as you say, weather the storm, settle, reestablish yourself, do what works. Yeah, stay with what works. Absol absolutely, you don't want to run away from anything as well too. When you run away from that offensive structure, mm. that sounds alarm bells right there. So it's really important that you're sticking with what you what you know best. Indeed. Six foot eight remaining here as both teams are back out on the floor here. Only 18 points are marching currently at the moment. And a little bit of noise from the crowd as well too. So some good energy in the building. It's, it's still a game, Ronnie. It, I think it if is. they can get it to 15 or under with five minutes left... This is anybody's game. Absolutely. I say, we've seen stranger things happen. That looks like a, a backcourt to me, Ronnie, but yep. I could be wrong. You're the referee. I will talk, might talk that one through. Uh, I actually will talk that one through. Strasbourg had not got all three points over into the front court, so he, mm. can stra he can straddle there and be okay. Okay. If he had gone in, in and then come back, as we've seen already okay. this evening, then yes, backcourt. Interesting. You say three points. Is that both feet and the ball, Ronnie? Feet, what? Uh, it's the feet. Yeah, feet, ball. Yeah, feet, feet, ball. Feet and ball. Yeah, feet and ball. Feet counts as two, part, two points. Two points, and then the, the th One. third point is the ball. ball. Got it. Yes. As Ferguson missed the first free throw. And Ferguson gets the second one to go. Walking out, coming down the floor here as we'll update the score line. Looks like we have another change coming for Uni. Yep. As Bestwick knocks the two down. Very fluent looking jump shot from Alex Bestwick. Yes, if he can get into that group, he can certainly light it up here at the moment. Yes, he's a very interesting player, Alex Bestwick. I believe he's listed at 6'2". As I said, I would be surprised if that's much over 6. Yes, Griffiths now firing up. Couldn't get that to go. Ball gets kicked out here. Now Strasma Couldn't get that 3 to go. And now ball here with Nash. Collins. Looking to move that ball around. Back wow. to play. Good what vision. Pass. Rose now. Back on on that one. Good. And then Bestwick. The man of the hour. You named it. I've said he it, got it. I've said it once. I've said it again. That's an excellent looking three-pointer for the six-foot Alex Bestwick. Absolutely. Rated as 6'2", but six, <laughs> six foot in your books, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Back to 14 points here. We've got a game, Ronnie. We certainly do. Stewart now needs to... Well, he lost a handle. Nash now. Caleb looks for the outlet. Oh, he, he probably fouled. He was. Going to take it to the hoop. And then go makes the pass in the rows. Yes, back to twelve. This game's just turning around it's, somehow. It's a hell of a game, Ronnie. It's now the shoes on the other foot. Can the can the Swisher boys withstand the, the pressure? Absolutely. Can they weather this run from Utah's currently at the moment? Utah's doing a good job of rallying back into this ball game. Strassman now. Working his way through. Kick out pass. Stewart now. And that's a shot clock violation. And Anthony Stewart for the first time tonight. Up and about. Subs in. Subs in. Yep. Time out. Time, time out, out call. Bit, so, of, bit of Stewart on Stewart violence there, Ronnie. Yep, Anthony not impressed with that play ball or decision no. making by his son there. 
No, and Stewie will be rentless on that as well too. As both teams get into the huddle here. 409 remaining uh, in the last quarter here. Glad you're tuning in by the Chargers TV YouTube channel. Ron Riggs and Jefferson St. John on hand for you he here in what has been not a bad second half by you, Taz. They've found their way back into it, Jeff. They're only down 12 with 409 remaining. And right now, a little bit of crowd momentum as well, too, coming into this has helped spark a bit of a revival. Yeah. Look, I mean, it's, it looked in many ways at the start of the third like this could be over. Mm. And they've rallied. They've come back. We have a very, very interesting finish to the game coming up. Certainly do. That is for sure. So Swisher out on the floor early here as Utah, Utahs will come out now. Of course, Utahs will kick off their UBL campaign as well too next year. And, of course, you'll see those games by Unisport TV as well too. Myself and JB hopefully we'll be on the call next year. We'll get all our contract negotiations sorted out as soon as possible. And let's play the restart here. Carlson with it. Walker. He's looking at contr it. control. Walker looking for Bestwick. Bestwick now. Three is sh way short and out of play. I don't think so. I don't think so. They, I think Nashi was asking, was there a hand on that shot? I don't think there was. We had a pretty good look upstairs here. And this is full court man-to-man -man right now here, mm. Jeff. So, again, they're really trying to, you know, get a stop here and get this back to single digits. Well, that was really close to five seconds, that, Ronnie. That was very close. Strasma. Yeah, this is, this is good calm play here by the Switcher boys. They know they've got time on their mm. side, so they don't need to shoot quickly. They don't no. need to respond to the Utah's tempo. Angerstein down low. Goes to Strasma. Strasma up strong. Great finish. Strasma sort of just hung there a little bit, waited for the defender to come back to earth and then laid it in. And that's the selling basket that Swisher needed, so to speak, after what was a good run by mm. Utah's. Nash for three, just on the back iron mm. on that one. Again, looked really good out of the hand. He's shooting well tonight. Certainly is. Yes, big screen. Hard screen there. Hard though. screen by Angerstein. Angerstein going to work. Good work by Carlson and uh, Nash. So great work. Ball just got a little bit low there for, for Oli and, and the Utah's boys jumped on it. Yeah, absolutely. As Rose comes out, Collins coming in. I don't think we've seen Bruni in at all this quarter too as well, Jeff, which has been interesting. We had that jump ball here. Yeah, well, look, uh, Mark Nash might have uh, acknowledged that the Swisher boys have developed a plan specifically for Brooklyn, and therefore, by keeping him out, he's kind of throwing that defense into a bit of disarray. Yeah. Smart coaching. Absolutely. 13. Referees did talk over the call or the jump ball situation, and we are now got an end result of that. Uh, Swisher able to regain control. Stewart now. Strasma. Griffiths now working his way inside, goes up and gets the two to go on the shot clock buzzer. So you can hear Geordie in go the ahead, background there. As Bestwick fires from the corner, back on on that one. Bestwick's been given the green light. Yep, he certainly has, as Walker couldn't get that two to go. <laughs> Angerstein, he's yes you like. On that Ollie one. Angerstein holds the ball 13 Absol feet in the air. And Absolutely, Stewart couldn't get the floater. Nash does a good job on the boards. Nash off and running. Slowing this one down. Well, not really as they continue. Best week. Yes. That's his bread and butter, that. That little 15, 10, 15 footer. Absolutely. Now ball up the floor Does a here. good job to get back in front. Yeah. Oh, and, and out of bounds. Good pressure by Collins and Bestwick. Bestwick's really putting in an effort on, on both ends of the court at the moment having some pretty critical defensive plays as well as knocking down some shots. Absolutely. 2.05 two remaining, 14 hour margin. If you can get on a quick little hot streak here, Jeff, this mm. game again turns on its head. As Walker, or just a bit too ambitious on the play, I felt. As Strasma, now Griffiths. And good utilisation here from Swisher to Melt the clock down. Shot clock at eight. Don't hold! Strasma going up strong and a two. 
That's too easy. Time out, White. Time out. Oh, looks like we've got a uh, Caleb Nash with a bit of calf Ooh. cramp, maybe, by the yeah. looks of things. So, 16 points arm margin here, and I think, Jeff, after what uh, it was a good run by Utez, but unfortunately, yeah, I think this one we can, say, we can safely call. I think you're on the money, Ronnie. It looked like it could turn into anything a few minutes ago, but yep. there's just not enough seconds on the clock anymore. No, no. I think time's your enemy here on, on, on this one. and um, Great contest. It Great has contest. Been. It has been. You know, it's it? like Swisher come out strong and aggressive from mm -hmm. the start. Utah's chip away. They work their way back into the ball game. Mm -hmm. Just put a little bit of scoreboard pressure on. Anthony mm -hmm. Stewart calls a couple of timeouts. Mm. And then able to weather what we could have could have thought would have been a massive comeback from Utah's. Mm -hmm. But right now they're holding sway here, 16 up. Yeah. It was looking like it could be a blowout. And nobody wants to really see that. It's come back and it's been a contest, you know, up until the second or third minute left of the remaining. So, yeah, great, great effort by you, Taz boys, to come back. Absolutely. The ball, got, ball gets advanced. Side, thanks. 14, please. Thank of course, you. the uh, two minute, the two Black team, under cross two. the line and will result in a technical foul. Don't cross the line. Of course, yes, in the last two minutes, you can't break the line. That is an automatic technical. And, of course, you can't advance the ball. Nat Walker now. Another really good pass from Isaac. Yep. Bestwick couldn't get that three to go. And good work by Strasma. Strasma just with the size advantage there gets the rebound over Caleb Nash. Absolutely. Strasma working his way in. Ooh. Turn around Jay. He is not good. Good work by Carlson and Collins to keep Angerstein out, out of paint. And then Nash couldn't reel that one in. Subs in. Uh, 14, please, Nikki. Nikki. We have 14, please. We're going Nikki, into 14, the front please. court. Thank you. Yeah, there we go. You see Ollie going out of the game. Yep. It looks I like think, it's a wrap. Yeah. I think so. I think uh, Anthony Stewart will shut down the uh, Angerstein operation <laughs> as Griffiths. Now, Strasma down low here is Hargrave. Hargrave down low once again. Up strong. Couldn't get that to go. Bestwick, here's Walker. Walker fires this one from deep and gets the three. So ball quickly up the floor here as Griffiths will probably milk some clock, you would think. Ferguson, Stewart. Griffiths into Ferguson. Fer now Stewart. And good hands by Walker. Two on the shot yeah, here. I'm watching it's just he's on the other side of the piece, so it doesn't really have an effect on the play there. Don't hold, don't hold. Play restart. Stewart to Strasma. Well, that was play, a telegraph. Play. Now Walker here will get a two. Yes. Back to 11, but this is pretty much all said and done. What? Oh. Nah, white ball. Thank you. Yep. And time out. Time out, white. Time out, guys. So I think. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Interesting time out there by Nash. Not, not. What do you think? Wants to get one more good possession. I think he wants to get one more good possession. Obviously, mm. they'll 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 look for a quick three here, and if it goes down, then obviously they'll get they'll get up and try and and then the foul game will come into play. Mm. Now, granted. Um, Utah's not in a bad position. He'd only got one more foul to give before the bonus. So it's not a bad thing, but they're going to have to do it in a way where you don't get done or upgraded for our own sportsman like. So if they get the three, they'll be up the floor quickly to try and quickly foul, and then the free throw game would, would arrive here. So We're going to need to see a Tracy McGrady like finish to this game for yes. Utah's to get up. Ab absolutely. Oh, we have referenced this point before on the mm. broadcast. There, if you do have a Tracy McGrady in your team, <laughs> here, here we go. <laughs> um, but um, I mean, NBA I'm, great of yesteryear. Yes, absolutely. Of course, you can find that. What um, was it? Thirteen points in eight seconds, or something, something like crazy? that. You can mm. find the clip on YouTube, folks. Look I've, it up. I've watched it. It's uh, it's a beauty of a thing to watch. So play restarts here. Nash. 
And then Bestwick throws one. Oh, wow. gets it. They go down. I'm telling you, that boy can shoot. And now the foul game needs to come into play here. They're only down eight. Foul. They've got a, they've got a foul. They're trying to, but Strasburg are doing a good job boarding everyone. No, you've you got a foul. you got to, and there's the foul there. 5.8 remaining, and it's probably too little too late. But a heroic shot from Bestwick at the corner. Nash, Nash with hands on hips, frustrated. I don't think he understands why it took his team 10 seconds to, to foul yeah. um, in that situation. Frustrating as a coach when you have someone execute a play like that and then yeah. drop the ball on that on that lit and 10 yes. seconds burn off. That's frustrating. Absolutely. Now, you, Utahs will quickly foul here, one would think. They need to. They would need to. As Looks Angus like they're going to let it play out. Play out. And that now to foul. 1.1. One. Bonus two, boys. Bonus two. So Strasma here at the line, and that's pretty much all she wrote. So Swisher will come out on top here to to win it. Stewie's not not, no. not testing anything, seeing Ollie no. Angerstein back on the floor. No, he was. Uh, <laughs> there was some concern there, I think. There was. <laughs> As he knocks that one down. Crossers tech, crossers tech. And that will, and that will do it. Walker throws a hail mary, and that and that will do it. So good win by Swisher. But it was a good fight back by Utahs as well, too. And, Jeff, that was... Uh, that was know, fun, it Ronnie. It was fun. You know, I thought at one stage, yeah, I think we're going to have that blowout. But, no, Utahs made a good game. Of it. They fought their way back, really worked hard. And, you know, not a bad way to finish off that game. Really good to see some of uh, Southern Tasmania's young and talented basketballers going at it. And look, it, it's not our regular season. This is a, you know, the TSS. And yes. People care about it. People are trying to win out there. Absolutely. Before Yuli makes the presentations out on the floor, Oli Angerstein, top scoring with 25 points and 21 rebounds. Archie Stewart with 21 points. And Harry Griffiths with 16 as well, along with four, four assists. Jordy Strassman actually with 15, 9 and 8. There you go. Interesting. Uh, there you go. For the Utahs boys, Jordy Walker actually top scoring coming from behind for 22 on 9 of 17 shooting. Alex Bestwick, let's talk about that. 3 from 11 from 3 points, mm. 6 from 16 field goals, finishing with 18. He was crucial for them down the line. Really kept him in it, both offensively and defensively. Brooklyn Bruton, a very respectable 13 points on a 5 from 14 shooting uh, with 3 offensive rebounds. Great game. Yeah, no, fantastic, fantastic game. So, uh, great job uh, to the boys on stats. Well done, Lance. That's, uh, that's great work there. Uh, now, has the, re has the re oh, I might just keep the effects mic down. So, we might. So, Yuli will um, do a massive uh, lot of, of, of uh, do a massive lot of thank yous. And uh, here, we, here we go. We might, turn up, we might turn up our effects mic. I think we've got most of the riffraff gone up here.
All right, as the boys get their uh, photos and whatnot done, well done to Team Swish again, that win, and um, uh, absolutely fantastic to, um, uh, to be here for the last eight or so weeks. Jeff, just some final thoughts before I uh, si sign off and give all the thank yous. Yeah, Claw. look, a really interesting competition. A pleasure to be on the mic with you tonight, Ronnie. Thanks for having me along, and, yeah, look, really good basketball. I'm looking forward to next year already. Absolutely. A massive thank you to Jeff on commentary with Dwayne's approval. <laughs> Uh, the, obviously, D Train will need to uh, listen back to it, but no, it's been uh, been absolutely fantastic. Eight weeks of competition. I never would have thought that. You up? Um, I, I never would have thought that. Well, just to we'll turn Jeff down just in case. <laughs> I never would have thought that actually um, this competition was going to get off the ground, but it certainly picked up mileage over the last month or so, and. Uh, uh, what a fantastic initiative by by Josh Yule and um, uh, good work by Jordan Cooper as well too and the team of referees, Jordan Peel, Beck Rumley, Carl Browning, even myself. I even got a game in there as well too. So, um, um, so, uh, so yeah, so good, good work by the referees as always and then a good work by everyone behind the scenes as well too. And then, of course, my own crew uh, with, with JB, uh, Jacob has done a fantastic job. Talk about his uh, initiation and uh, junior intern. We've, I think we're going to have to promote him to uh, full-time uh, full status. Hey. Um, so we might get him on some Chargers games next year to help us out with our broadcast there. But no, a massive thank you to uh, everyone that's been involved, to all the sponsors that have come in and sponsored the live stream as well too. A massive thank you as well. And a massive thank you to, to Live Eat, who are the major sponsor of this uh, tournament or short roster, short, short season, whatever we want to call it, Jeff. Uh, but no, it's absolutely been fantastic and we've seen some great play and some great games throughout the uh, past month and a bit. That will pretty much wrap up our coverage here from Rain Basketball Stadium. I would suggest everyone stay tuned to char to the Chargers social media for any further updates or news in regards to team announcements. We're going to have them very soon, there, because I feel, I have a funny feeling, folks, we may have a change somewhere along the line. I just can't say what, but you stay tuned across our social media channels. Of course, Chargers TV will be coming at you, unfortunately, not till next year. Myself and JB will take holidays for once, and uh, we'll come back in the new year with a with a show and give you some off-season news updates across the board, uh, including uh, some national news as well, too. Uh, on behalf of our entire working crew here, we are signing out from Moraine. Great to have you with us here on the live stream, and that will pretty much do us. Merry Christmas, have a safe and happy new year, and we'll see you again soon. Good night. Good luck.